open to listen. <laughs> Welcome to Breathe ATL Church. If you're watching on, talking about my, if you're Wait, watching. They might see Charlene's hair. <laughs> if you're watching on the Breathe platforms, um, we are here tonight oh, with good. our okay. marriage okay. pastors. If you're watching on my TikTok, my Instagram, Gerald's Instagram, hey, hey. we're here tonight with our marriage pastors over our marriage ministry, hashtag us. We're going to show them. Show and Tim and Yammy. Tim and Yam. Little Tim and Yammy. Hi, guys. So. And then online on YouTube. And oh, yeah. Uh, Facebook, Facebook live. What up, what up? So. We live. May 3rd is our, as in Gerald and myself, it is our 23rd wedding anniversary. Yep. Woo! Woo! Tim and Yams, is it ninth? Nine. Somebody turning nine. nine. <laughs> Somebody's nine. turning nine. We're almost Listen. getting to the double digits. Listen, no right? So no. we decided that we were going to come tonight, and we were going to talk about marriage and relationships. No question is off limit. Get me together, boo. <laughs> Listen. No question is off limits. So we're going to talk good. about, it's about to get crazy in here. And um, we just wanted to invite you guys. We're going to do a mukbang. So my favorite food in the entire world is seafood, like seafood boils. Put my ring up. And then if you fool around and add a pasta noodle in, baby, <laughs> baby, <laughs> winning, which explains why I'm fat. Girl. So with oh, that said, the Holy Ghost. okay, God. listen, hold Wait, on. And before she gets started, get deep into it, if you don't have a church home, Breathe ATL is the place to be. <laughs> You see the kind of stuff we do at Breathe ATL. We we're a little different. We look different at Breathe ATL. We um we eat um crab so at service I, time. That's it. Or live. I set and it up because they said y'all want to get Muck together. Bang. They was like y'all want to get together and do like a question and answer relationship thing. And I said, oh mukbang. Ain't nobody Muck said bang. none yep. about food. I'm looking for a reason. <laughs> no, to no, get no, Sorry. So I'm gonna turn this over to them. Before I give it to them, before I give it to them, I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm eating. Okay. I am eating, there's a place out here in Buford, it's all over Georgia, it's all over a lot of places, right? Yep. But out here in Buford is where, it's right next to the church, fat, fat. <laughs> um, I ordered from Juicy Crab, I got shrimp with no heads, because ain't nobody got time for that, That's right? right? <laughs> shrimp with no heads, clams, and boiled eggs, juicy, special, hot, gang, gang, right? That's, That's what I got. What you eating, Gerald? I don't know. Gerald has because <laughs> because he's bullshit. That's see that's part of marriage. I be I don't know. <laughs> Just so y'all know, somebody said how you make it twenty three years. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Gerald has lobster tail. Okay. Boiled eggs and sausage, juicy, special, mild. Right. God. That's what he and I'm drinking lemonade. So we didn't. So Tim's birthday was on Friday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Happy birthday, Tim. So, happy birthday, Tim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, one of his favorite foods, too, just like PT. I think really? that y'all y'all are the same person. <laughs> um, one of his favorite foods was uh, seafood. So, we had just came up to the church not too long ago and got some seafood. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. Friday. So, we did a light, we did a lightweight. You know what I'm okay, saying? We got okay. a little bit of uh, blue crab. We got oh, some Oh, y'all balling. I ain't never, look, I ain't never had that blue crab. Listen. <laughs> I ain't you know never had that. What? You hoping that's like, what it tastes like? You order nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you hoping they say, you want to try my head? Like, I ain't never had that blue crab. I ain't bit. never had that kind before. <laughs> your, 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 your person is bougie, so is mine. Oh, okay. God, yeah. So, okay, like uh, PT already said, we are the May 3rd gang gang. We are, we are, I said, I told them earlier, we not, we not, we don't have double digits in this thing. So, you know what I'm saying? We are, we're still playing with hot, uh, what, hot rods and Barbie dolls, and they over here, Plus 21, making drinks. Listen. Making drinks. Making drinks. So we're going to, I thought it was really cool or interesting that even before you guys even knew that we were, um, or that you guys wanted to, or that you wanted us to be heads of the marriage ministry, that we had the same exact marriage Who knew? Ministry. That's crazy. Right. That's confirmation. Yeah. That was all right on time. So That's confirmation. Let's go ahead and get with some questions. For, but first, what are y'all eating? Y'all don't what y'all was eating. Hold on. Stop Hold on now. Everybody calm down. We got to pray for this food first because uh -oh. I'm ready to eat. I believe in praying before we eat. I pray on New Year's Eve for the year. Go ahead. Father, we thank you for friends, fellowship, for marriage, long marriage. We thank you for this food. The hands prepared it and the mouths that eat it. Your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, now go so ahead. So for you novices, come on, novices. you got to get the bag. I used to go to the shrimp boil and wonder why only half my stuff had the sauce on it. That's because you got to shake it up. You got to shake it up. 
You gotta Let's shake it up. Listen. Ew, Chris. First of all, what did I order? Chris, you gotta order some this food. Answer, you gotta get hot. some food. I must you wanted it hot. Order something, man. I, I ordered enough to take home to the kids. Move your chair over something. I don't want you. To, <laughs> can you move? Can, yeah. Okay, Jerry, you gotta dump we, it in your bowl. I don't want mine in my bowl. Because if I don't eat it all, I want to be able to put it back. Pour it back in the bag? I don't want to do that. Am I being forced? Oh, you to? difficult. This is one of the problems. Now, we, let's get into this relationship thing. <laughs> let's get into thing. this thing. Let's get right into this relationship <laughs> thing. So How difficult. are you going to force me to Let me just say this. Wait a minute, Tim want to say something. This ahead, is Tim. what 23 years look like right now. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like about to get left. <laughs> <laughs> No, about no, but food. how are you going to force me to put my stuff in a bowl and that ain't how I want to do it? <laughs> Last time you didn't listen to me, you fell down the stairs. <laughs> right? And didn't ask for no help. But you got a good sermon out of it. My he God. Did, he got a good message. <laughs> oh, my God. The man of God was inspired. Yes, he was. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This sauce is good. Look, so everybody thinks that in order to have a magical, wonderful, whatever wedding or marriage, mm -hmm. you have to start with magical, wonderful wedding ceremonies, destination weddings, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Something else that we have in common other than the fact that we're both married, we got married on the same day, is mm -hmm. that we both got married at the courthouse. Wow, y'all did too? Yeah, really, we really did. How much did it cost y'all? I think it was like 35. 35 dollars. Didn't cost us nothing. Well, Dietrich paid, but it was 64 dollars. Was that his mm -hmm. gift to y'all? That was mm -hmm. his gift. Oh, Lord. Lord. <laughs> I need a redo, Dietrich. So let's talk about that. What made y'all decide on that particular day? What made y'all wake up and say, okay, we're going to get married today? Gerald said he didn't want to be a hoe no more. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Gerald said, and I'm giving it to the people. I'm giving it to the people. Please, y'all, know pastor, that this is the center service today. The pastor <laughs> didn't want to be a hoe no more. I don't want to be a player. So, right. No so more. he decided, he decided that he wanted to make an honest woman out of me. My God. <laughs> so, no, actually, I had broke up with him the night before. Oh, wait, wait. I was done because he was a, he was a hot mess. I was done, <laughs> and and then because we were living together. But no. I ain't had no me, sex. <laughs> I, was, I, was I love that video. I, was a I ain't had no sex. We was living together. Um, I'm not telling y'all to do that. I'm just telling y'all what we did. Right. Um, and we had started like walking, going walking in the mornings and all that kind of stuff. And so I was done. I felt no emotion. I was good. I wasn't mad. Emotion. I was like nine years. I had cried all I could cry. Like wasn't nothing left. And so that morning I was like, you want to go walking? And he was like, no. <laughs> and I said, you want to go to breakfast? And he was like, no. Nah. And I said, so what you want to do? And he was like, let's go get married. And I said, you mother, you <laughs> listen. I opened up on him because I'm like, cut it out. Yeah. Enough is enough in these streets. <laughs> cut it out. And so he, he, called, he got on the phone and called Dietrich. And he was like, yo, Didi, he was like, what are you doing today? And Dietrich was like, nothing. Why, what's up? And he was like, me and Tammy, we're going to get married Come, come, go with, and that's when I knew I was like, "This joke is serious." Oh, he's real. He's serious. All right, now let me tell the story yeah, from my you lens. Yeah, tell your side. I have to tell the story from my lens because if y'all ever seen the TV show, um, um, this is us. Mm -hmm. No, not this is us. It's another. It's a movie. It's oh, the um, the affair. The affair. Okay. Mm -hmm. If y'all never seen this series called The Affair, I believe it's on HBO somewhere. Um, the affair, it shows everybody's lenses. Mm -hmm. They see the same thing, but it shows from how, from how they saw it, their perspective. Right. What Tammy just said, like from my perspective, it didn't happen no kind oh of way. Oh, Lord. Way. So what happened was, Tell the truth, Tammy Devil. here's the truth. We did move in together. That's the truth. We were not having sex. That's we the truth. ain't had no sex. <laughs> <laughs> we, we decided because we, we did do nine years, we did have a son out of wedlock. We did do nine years of um, back and forth, fighting, arguing, quitting each other, breaking up. He old, y'all hear what he said? Quitting. Quitting each other. <laughs> Unless you know how old we are. Coming quitting back together. together. We did that for nine years. So when we decided to move in together, she said she broke up with me the uh -huh. night before. Not she said. That's what she said. Uh -huh. She said she broke up with me. That's not what happened. Okay. The night before, I randomly told her because I thought about it. What am I doing? I don't want to get married. And I told her exactly that. I said, I don't want to get married. You, I told her that. The night, the night before. So she said she broke up with me. I'm like, 
I just randomly came out and said. I, 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 I got it verbatim. You want me to give it to you? Because I remember. No, no. Oh, Lord. You, you said what you had to say. You no, missed it. Man, no, no. But, but, but you missed the moment. It's my turn. Oh. You missed it. Go ahead, Pastor. It's my turn. Six minutes. I said, I don't want to be married. I'm not ready to get married. And can't nobody force me to get married. I'm not doing it. And we turned on and went to bed. That's how my lens sees it, and that's how it happened. Okay? So then the next morning. I was like, what made you, what made you then wake up and be like, let's go ahead. And let's clearly talk about how he was confused. <laughs> right. All the time. A double-minded man, that's what the Come Bible on, is says. unstable in all it's his unstable ways. in all his ways. Uh. Let me tell you what happened. So what made me get up the next morning, she said, do you want to go walking? Now, how are you going to break up with me and then you want to go walk? I mean, somebody, sometimes you missed you the walk. point. You missed the point. I said I was done. I said I was done. But if you guys. Let me, let me finish telling my no, story. No, wait a minute, because you're a liar. Listen. <laughs> I didn't. When you, were, when you were sitting here lying, I didn't stop Hold you. Hold on. I didn't lie. <laughs> I didn't lie from my perspective. But no, listen. If you guys, you guys have heard us teach on marriage and stuff like that before, right? I've, I've said multiple times that if Gerald and I had not gotten married, we probably, if our, if our, whoever we were in relationships with would have allowed it, we probably would have still been friends. We had a friendship, we legitimate, which is probably the key to our 23 years of success, is that we were legitimate friends. Oh, God, hot. <laughs> Listen, yes, but legitimate friends. And so I, I wasn't, and see, that's women. Let me give y'all a piece of advice. That's how a man, that's what makes a man nervous, right? Because a lot of times we'd be like, I'm done with you, and da 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 and it's all hype, everybody on 10, everybody acting a fool, everybody keying cars, stopping by folks' jobs, calling people on social media, all that kind of stuff, right? He knows, he may know you mad, he may know he on the outs for a minute, but you care too much to be done. That's right. Right? What makes a man nervous is like, what we doing? I'm, I'm good. I, oh, you ain't I'm done me? with you. <laughs> you ain't like, done telling my can story. Be Go, oh, you, you. You put a bookmark in that puppy, didn't you? Absolutely. Go ahead. Because I, I wasn't done. Go this ahead. is another thing about relationships I want to share. Uh -oh. When you're arguing, <laughs> when you're arguing or you're having a conversation, give the person the time to say what they need to say, whether you agree or disagree. Reclaim your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And then when it's their turn, and I mean you take that five minutes and you say whatever you have to say. You can call me ugly, you can call me big headed, you can call me bald, cone headed boy, you can call me, I'm gonna let you say it. Who but when it's you? my turn, right. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> but when it's my turn to speak, let me have my five minutes to call you, big head. Oh, hey, big head. Okay, call you whatever I'm going to call you and say what I'm going to respond. Okay, PG. So now, back to my point. Yes. That next morning, we got up, and she said, she said, you want to go walking? I don't recall her asking me to go walking. We never went walking in that neighborhood ever. Why okay, are you we, ever we, did? we lived it, and you... Oh my baby, God. baby, you, you just invalidated everything else about your story because I know we went walking. Okay, she lived in an apartment that looked like the Jeffersons. Uh -huh. We were not out there walking in them streets uh -huh. in Southfield. So now, let me finish. That's how you gonna tell me? <laughs> I'm wow. Telling, I'm telling you my side of the story. Wow. <laughs> he said he, it's, his, it's his lens, so go ahead. There you go. I got you. Go ahead. So next morning, she looking so sad and pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> and this, about, let me tell my story. I'm about to cancel your story. She looking so sad, barely talking to me when she gets upset, barely talking, walking around the house. And this is, Tammy has this, there's this God-given gift that Tammy has. Come on. To get what she want without even saying it. That's a woman, baby. That's right. And I saw her walking around sad, and then I'm thinking to myself, this is what's going through my head. She don't hear this. I'm like, I love her. I ain't ready to get married. But maybe I am. We together. We might as well. Not so I'm looking at her. Right. I'm looking at her, really looking upset. Like, Let like, me do her <laughs> Tammy, this is the best favor I ever did you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, seriously. Wait a minute. You, but you're not. This is the best favor I ever did you. <laughs> right. All right, Kanye, let's go. That's right. Come on. Um, but no, I saw her looking like sad. Mm -hmm. And she got this power. There's this power Tammy has to get what she wants. She don't realize it. Uh -huh. And I shouldn't be sharing it. We ain't had no sex. That she, she was looking sad, and then I'm like, man, I don't want to make her sad. But then I do want to marry her. But then am I ready? So then. How are you so considerate that day and not any other day? My God. You're so considerate, ma'am. Give him so his time. <laughs> so what happened was, I asked her, she said, what, I said, no, I said to her, what are you doing today? What's, what, what's the plan? She said, I don't know. She said, I don't know what you want to do. 
I said, come on, let's go get married. Then she went off. She snapped. Yeah. And I, I said, so. I said, no, I'm serious. She said the first person I called was Dietrich. The first person I called was Steve. Steve how? Then I called Dietrich. But then Dietrich I called. But I knew you were serious because you would not have included them. And I included all of them, and then we went to the courthouse. But you still had, I feel like you still had to have a moment of self where it was kind of like, not just like, I want to make her happy. It was like, I, like for me, I know, because they say, they say, you help me out. They say, brothers, you know, y'all know what y'all know from the first, you know, couple months about how y'all feel about something. About marrying somebody. About else. marrying somebody. I, I think yes and no, but you got to remember, I was young. Okay. Let me say that. I think seasoned people know. How old were you? Right. I was, when me and Tammy first started dating, I was 18. Okay. Can I have another egg, please? Can I have any more eggs? Yes, you can have it. Yes. <laughs> they did give you eggs. They just put it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> when did, when I was 18. When, when y'all got At 18 married. years old, and uh, fellas, help me out here. 18 years old, I didn't know what I wanted. No, that's yeah, fair. That's true. I was yeah. brand new. To, yeah. I was just starting to really date. I was still just getting it in. Like, I'm trying to... See who I can get. Bro, and, he right, a, right, right. and he a pastor's kid, so he was yeah, kind of coming out of his freedom. Well, come on, <laughs> I, I still wasn't free, though. <laughs> you really weren't free until you had to change your mind. So, nah, Andy, nah, that's nah, a whole nah, other story. Come on. But I, I was 18. Tammy was 20. She's a cougar. She was older than me. Oh, I'm so sick of him. <laughs> like, Tammy, up in, I'm, I'm in my 40s. Tammy in her 50s. But listen! <laughs> so, this is what I'm saying. She was a cougar. I'm just telling the truth. You teetering on that 50. You almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, she you said standing you on that diving board on the deep end, buddy. I'm, I'm not 50 yet, so I'm holding on to it. Oh, it's but close, here's, But here's Go my ahead. thing. I didn't know what I wanted at the time. Okay. I think at a certain time and age, unless there's people, I'm a creative. So what happens with most creatives, we're, we're this. All over the place. I try yeah, stuff. Yeah. I want to try. So even when you take it to women, I'm like, I want to try. Same so time. Tammy... I thought she was cute even in high school. I used to go, hey, Tammy. I used to mess with her. Hey, mm -hmm. hey. I well, remember mind you, we was in high school together, so the age difference ain't that big. But I was in the 10th grade. You was in the 12th. Oh, Lord. Why you be out here just... When, I was, in the, when I was in the 8th grade, you well, was in the 10th. Do you want to make it to 23? That's the question. Listen, because you work... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, but my point is, I didn't know what I wanted. All right. And then by the time I did start kicking it with Tammy, and then we started kicking it, and I um, kicking it with her every day. Yeah, yeah. Literally every About day. About three months in, I, I woke up one Saturday, I don't know what day it was, and said, all right, I'm done. I'm about to move on to the next thing, and let me see who's next. Huh. <laughs> I'm 18, though. Don't, don't laugh. laugh. So, so, my so my point I was, I didn't really know what I wanted because there were still options, or I didn't even know if there were options. Let me be honest. Okay. You know? Tim, Tim, I feel like. That's just me. Speak, you can speak for yourself. We'll talk about how how we decided to get married at, at on that specific right, day, right? right. right? Yeah. I think for you, I used to say, I used to tell people all the time, Tim's, um, his boy, his mo his uh, mentor was uh, too short. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. The too short one. That's not a good mentor. That's not a good mentor. But to be fair, I was actually the person in our relationship that wasn't interested in getting married. That's true. Wow. Yeah. So because I had already been married before. Okay. Right? So I thought that, and I was cool with him being, like, cool with too, too short and stuff like that, because I thought we were just going to have fun. Right. This is, I tell people all the time, this is the longest first date I've ever been wow. on. Wow. And wow. I was, good. I was, I was, I was okay with that. So from my vantage point, when uh, I think Tim had been, and I, he actually told me this recently, he had been low-key kind of dropping hints that he wanted to marry me, and I was just kind of like, get I out. wasn't dropping hints. I said, let's get married. See? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They forget, Tim. They forget. Me, me, you know, I, said I said it very direct. I said it very direct. There was mean, no hit. You was like, no, nah, I mean, no, nah, yeah, but nah. for me, it was like, who don't want to marry me? Oh! Oh! Ooh. You yes. better go ahead. So, I mean, I got it. Yes. But I didn't get it. You but, feel but me? But yes. after you had told me no that. for so many times, you remember I stopped asking. No, you did. And then, he did. Then you called me on one day. You said, let's get married. Okay, no, no. But let me she asked you. Wait, let me wait, know. I, no, I stop asking. No, let me yeah. play. Let me play. Let me play. You no, proposed. Wait, wait, wait. She proposed. No, no, I did not. No, she, she proposed. Didn't, she, didn't, she didn't propose. She said, you know what? You want to get married, we might as well get married. And, but here's how I said it, too. Because I had heard from my sister, my si like, maybe we had been living together, too, right? Okay. And we were getting ready. Y'all lived together, too? All these pastors. Shack it up. 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 Shack it up.
we were li- and we were getting ready to sign a new lease on May 3rd. Okay. And wow. I remember I was walking around and uh, my sister had randomly called me and she was like, bruh, why don't you just get, why don't y'all get, y'all look yeah, together? Yeah, I remember that. Since we signed in paperwork today, we might as well. Yeah, you might as well. And I was like, nah, man, y'all don't understand. I'm not ready for it, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Then this girl that I didn't even like <laughs> randomly came to me and was like, bro, why haven't you considered getting married? Y'all look so cute together. Y'all are, you know, y'all, I just feel something. And it, it took the word of the enemy. <laughs> wow. Because you didn't like her. No, right. Because why would you say something nice to me, right? Right, right, right. So I called him and I said, let me tell you something. <clears throat> I know you have been saying something about us getting married this whole time. If you down to get married, it got to be by May 3rd. If it don't happen by May 3rd, listen, I'm cool with what we're doing right now. You bossy. I love that. That's what she said. That was exactly I was like, I'm just said. cool with where we are because it's, 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 we're not rocking the boat. And to be honest with you, so I we had got felt. married and I went to the bar. She went Wait, to work. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 I, had been, I had been really, I think I was, I was, I was kind of angry at God in a way mm-hmm. uh-huh. because I had done what I call the proverbial right thing. I'm a oh, pastor's kid too. So right? when people talk about pastor's kids, I'm not them. I had a mouth on me, yes. But I wasn't really into the crazy right, crazy. Right. Yeah. I mean, not real on a scale of one to ten. I was like a six. Says, a pastor, says you. A pastor's kid. Yeah, a seven. Says you. On a pastor's trouble. So I had felt I had felt mad with God because I was like, well, I did the right thing and, and this marriage didn't work. Yeah. So what am I doing? What am I doing the second marriage? Right. That, right, right. that was my mindset. Wow. But here he was kind of loving me through a lot of my hurt. Yeah. Mm. Being patient with me because I would I would have these moments where I was just kind of like, uh, am I? Bro? Oh, I you was mean around. sometimes. Oh, yeah, I was mean. Yeah. I was, mean. was mean. I'd just be like, you know what? I, nah, we don't have to be together. What? The, yes, yeah, we're living together. So what if we're yeah. living together? We can, I can, we can stop wow. living together. It's not a big right, deal. Right, right, right. So that was my Yeah, and would get mad at me. Huh? On 85 and get out the car and walk. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a Just to prove a point. I did that before one Just night. I got mad and yeah. I jumped out the car. Yeah. And I was walking, and he gonna drive down the street and roll down the window. He was like, you know you "Get in this car." Head. He's like, "You know your head too big to be out here walking <laughs> these streets." <laughs> She's like, "Get in this car." So this might be, this guy. Somebody be see that big head. <laughs> <laughs> they get gonna, in here. They're not even gonna be getting That's a nasty from my what, was your, what was your perspective though? No, that, that how well when I met you, I don't, I don't even know what type of place I was in. First of all, oh. um, you was kind of me. You did something for me that nobody else ever did. You know, I was Aww. going through. I was going through some kind of get custody for my kid. Aww. I was broke, and she helped me out. So I was like, man. Wow. So you was my friend. Mm-hmm. So wow. for she, me, you wanted me. I knew what you was doing. What? So. <laughs> you said you, you said you, a, you wanted me. I know. Right. Right. <laughs> she, she was paying for it. Let him tell it. But no, no, she she was by my side. You know, we was helping each other out through a lot of yeah. things. Yeah. Right. I was like, man, you know what? This girl is really down for me. And I knew at that point, I want to spend the rest mm-hmm. of my life with her. So That's I would dope. ask her. I was at, ask her all the time. She was like, no, nah, I want to get married. I, don't, I got time. I, I was thinking we were going to break up. First of all, he didn't ready. even ask me to be his uh, his girlfriend. Girl didn't either. I did. Either. Oh I did. What is happening here? Oh my okay, God. hold on. Let me say oh, this. For real? Let me say this, this for everybody playing. that goes to Bree, right? Yes, we are your pastors. Uh-huh. Yes, they are your marriage pastors. Don't do anything they nor we <laughs> have <Yeah>. done. <laughs> That is a disclaimer. This is the stuff that you I, should not do. I remember one time me and Yam was talking. I was like, we're going to do something. Yam said, you ain't my, you ain't my boyfriend. You I really didn't me. think we was. I said, why do I got to ask? We've been living either. together for the last year. What you we, were, <laughs> we were literally living together. And I was like, but you never asked me to be your girlfriend. Girl <laughs> said, girl said, if anybody asked you. you we together. Me. No, we he together. was like, you with me. That's if it. anybody asked you, you with me. You ever like made a, me go I, feel, I said, okay. I feel sorry for any man <laughs> that date Tabitha. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. Yeah. Tabitha's not one. To Tabitha's gonna be one. one uh, like Tabitha, a, uh, and her crew, they they're really not one to play with. Oh y'all my god! Come absolutely all the way clean. Absolutely. Okay, so y'all brought some questions. Oh yeah. We told them. We told them nothing is off limits. So those of you that don't know, Gerald and I are like super, super duper transparent about marriage, right? Yes. Um, there's pretty much nothing we won't talk about. Oh, and let me say this before we move further. Um, Mary and Tammy, May 3rd, 1999, was one of the best decisions I ever made. Hold on, say it again for TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I said it and they missed it. <laughs> they missed it. No. Mary and Tammy, May 3rd at 6 o'clock? No, it was 5 o'clock. 5, because we left five and o'clock went to church. What? It was one of the best things I've ever done. When we all get old, did you go? We got you married. Go? We went to Burger King. We went to church. We went home. We ain't had no sex. 
<laughs> we went to bed. <laughs> I don't think we did either. <laughs> oh, you went to work. I did go to work. <laughs> I did go to work that day. Wow. I couldn't get off. Did y'all did y'all have a ring? <laughs> I, my ring, the ring that we got married in, is uh-huh. this $20 ring from Walmart. Uh-huh. That's all we could afford. Yeah. That I still wear. Uh-huh. We, no, that's all you could afford. I was rich. Okay. <laughs> 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 I had money. Right. <laughs> I, came, <laughs> I, 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 money. I came in with the table and Listen. everything. Are you kidding me? Um, actually, I remember. Actually, I remember his brother. His brother one time went before before we moved. Tim lived like a bachelor, so he didn't have like a lot of stuff or whatever. Uh-huh. So all of a sudden, he didn't tell his brothers that we were living together. But he come he come to his house. He like it's paintings on the wall. It's like uh, China decorating the table. Uh, right? They like who lives here? Like, well, this ain't you, is it? <laughs> like, I have no. food in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it can't be you. The <laughs> bed, hey, the bed made. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, because what Gerald so eloquently left out of the story is that we were engaged. Really? I was wearing a ring. His yes, His mother we had got up and announced it to the church. We lost half the choir, so he passed. Oh, we didn't yeah. lose half the choir. We may have lost two people. <laughs> it wasn't half the choir. He passed. Unless there was four people in the I choir. Be, no, I, I, I legit believe I le, I legit believe that. We I, lost, no, we I've lost heard, we lost maybe two people. I have heard announcements of pastors getting married Listen. where folks was just kind of like, oh, the well, sopranos, well, you ain't got to worry about me. The <laughs> Sopranos <laughs> and the Altos suffered yeah, no. because <laughs> Pastor Gerald was getting married. And so I think after that, like, he, first of all, I should have red flagged when he felt some kind of way because his mother announced it. And so um, after that, he, like, Went crazy. Who laughed? <laughs> well, first of all, my mother had no place to announce my engagement, and I didn't tell her she could do that. You can't just get up in church and, and tell said, somebody. Where's the wedding? And she looked back at Gerald, and he was like, and then she said, Oh, I, it's a secret. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she she just gonna randomly get up in church. Oh and say, my God. So when so when the ladies found out that Gerald was getting married, there was a great exodus, my God. right? And I think Gerald panicked. And then he oh. went into like he would just disappear. So he disappeared, and <coughs> no, I'm, came, I'm came tickled because I'm thinking like, how somebody gonna get up at church and say, brother Gerald just got a million dollars, and I owe ten people in the audience <laughs> money. <laughs> like, hey, wait a minute. But to, <laughs> answer, um, to answer your question, I just tickled myself. I, I had on one of his mother's rings. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. He so, gave me one of his. No, because well, let me tell you how we got engaged. We got engaged. We were hanging out like we normally did. Uh huh. And uh, we stopped by my parents' house. We over there just hanging out. And um, I told Tammy, like, we got started dating. I said, you know what? We engaged now. Sir, what? And she said, <laughs> she said, stop playing. I said, no, we're engaged because I, I do play a lot. Sir. She's like, I said, we're engaged. She said, bless you. She said, if you, we're really engaged, go upstairs and tell your mom and daddy. I know that's right. And I said, don't, don't play with me. I said, all right. I said, let's go. We went up there, knocked on their door. They opened the door. And at the time, my daddy was wearing a, what was he wearing a two-face? His two-face. He said, hold he on, said, hold let me on. get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, was getting was get dressed putting the two-face Yeah, Gerald <laughs> said, Daddy, Tammy done seen you without your two-face on. Tammy's been around here for nine years. Like, you know, like, come on. Oh, she, you, she don't see you bald and with hair. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he gonna put his two-face on, put it on a little crooked. <laughs> open the door. And I open, when they open the door, I tell him, I said, hey, me and, Terry, me and Tammy engaged. Who's Tammy? Sir? Tammy. Sorry, I said Tammy. Me and Tammy engaged. No, both of us yeah. fucked up like, who's Tammy? Who's Tammy? I don't know. And why is she at the front of your mind? I have no idea who Terry is. <laughs> um, but I said, we, me and Tammy are engaged. And I said, um, so, just want y'all to know. Where is and my mama said, are you serious? I said, yeah. She said, if you serious, take one of my rings. She went in her ring drawer and um, pulled out a ring. Saints had a ring, ring drawer. And she said, <laughs> give her one of these. And I said, Tammy, pick one. And then um, Tammy picked one. And I put it on her finger. And then, and I wore that ring for she wore, three years. Yeah, three years. Yeah, that yeah. Wow. She actually, no, actually, Gerald's baby sister got married, and mm. they didn't have a ring, and so she, we gave her that ring. Oh, that's mm. nice. Yep. Yep. Which I think they want to wait a minute. They They're at twenty-one years of marriage. They either twenty-one or twenty-two. They celebrate in twenty-two. Yeah. Come on, Mary. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we are gonna pick some questions. Questions, from <laughs> and if y'all got questions online, even online, yeah. Um, let us know. Keep an eye on my. Instagram to see if there's any questions or whatever. I ain't got my glasses on, so I'm going to try to work with y'all as much as I can. I'm I'll answer here. for you. Gerald has said I'm old. I'm over here having a personal <laughs> no, summer. You, I no, can't see nothing. It's good. You, you look good. <laughs> don't you try don't, to work on nothing. Look, don't try to work on nothing. Your mind, your mind. You don't look like you're in your 50s. No. <laughs> you see him trying to work on something? He forgot. No. He wanted something. I'm just telling you, I wasn't lying. Uh, so, but you look good, girl. Let me go. So, she look good. <laughs> right. There is this <laughs> game called Last Couple Standing. We found this on Instagram. 
if you guys nice. are interested. Um, and a lot of the questions are very, very. It says no couple is safe. Oh God, Uh-oh. no couple is safe. But I found <laughs> what I feel like are some safe questions. <laughs> so we'll start with this one. Okay. You read it. Oh God, it's easy. Okay. This one is nice. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> what? I'm not nervous. Do it. Do it. Okay, I'm check nervous. this out. I'm ready. Do it, do it, do While it. doing the laundry, you're surprised to find doodle streaks in your partner's <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Do you tell them or keep it a secret? In our house? <laughs> right. You tell. We're gonna, not only are we going to tell, we're going to make a, we we make make a, a video. video. <laughs> <laughs> in our it's house, a whole it's thing. a whole thing. It would be a whole thing. It'd be like, so this what we do? <laughs> like, is this so, what we're going to do on a regular basis? This one, this one's a little I would, we, would, we would definitely tell. Yeah. I usually keep it quiet. Really? We you usually keep it quiet. <laughs> 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 well, well, now, but no, Tim. Now, at now, where we are with marriage, it's just like if you run across something, you just clean, just clean it up and keep it moving. Hey. Also, that ain't happening over here. I what, just, what? I just learned to do laundry with gloves. That's all. Oh <laughs> my God, he's out of control. Oh, oh, out of control. One, one thing, y'all, y'all be thinking that Tim is meek and quiet. Now he gonna get these jokes off at my expense. <laughs> right. Tell him, somebody said, tell him and okay. then talk about it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Because somebody, somebody. Right. Okay. Hey, now this is a good one. Okay. Can y'all look on Facebook Live just in case somebody have a question, question on Facebook yeah. Live? We want to make sure we answer any um, questions. Thank you. Is sex with your partner too long or too short? <laughs> you go first. <laughs> you want to answer this? I want you to tell the truth. You got to answer it, bro. Listen, I'm going to let them answer first. Okay. Gonna the, we going to let the adults I'll let answer. Let me answer. speak for me. Uh-huh. Don't, mess, don't mess your night up. I'm not. No. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, the question is is set sometimes too long or too short with your partner. I would say never too never too short, but you catch me on a day when I'm like bloated or something. Like I'm not trying to be all you know contorted. Like be like, oh my God, are we finished yet? Like you know, so is it but, over? right. Hey, Pastor Gerald um, made you know. a video I mean, said, "What happened to this bed? What happened to the bed?" <laughs> PG. Listen. <laughs> That bed got the rocking. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody rocking up on the So you know that H time. Yeah. Is it ever too long or too short for you? Um, no. It's, it can be both at different times. Okay. Okay. And sometimes it depends on when we find ourselves <laughs> having this sex that fast and crying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, this fast and, t- uh, and tears. Like weird. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay? <laughs> Did we then, make it? then we found ourselves like like. Rabbits, I mean, like you know, all of them have a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it depends. That's what I love about marriage, is that sometimes we can do it and crack jokes. Crack jokes. Right. Sometimes we can do it long. You're sweating, and sometimes you ain't doing it. And you're like, you know what? We ain't had sex. Have, have you? you I got a better it? question. Have you ever started and decided, no, I'm good, and stop? <laughs> be like, have you ever? Tonight. T- uh, Timothy? No, once I'm in it, I'm in it. My God. <laughs> <laughs> get the we kids get out the room. Like, yeah. Get all the kids out of the room. They don't even just, hear it. They got their headphones on, all of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe they're not paying no attention. Yo. I, I, I will tell you, though, I think sometimes you have to be having sympathy on me. Uh-huh. I was like, man, I know this was garbage. She was like, no, it was good. I'm like, this is garbage. I just gave you the yes, worst yes, sex yes, of your yes, life. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tammy, tell them what you tell me. Which thing? You give me a scream when I deserve I a scream. I said, love it. A scream. <laughs> when you really deserve a scream. <laughs> That's what love does. That's what love does, lady. Who's that rapper that is just right now? He's just petri- he's just like he got all messed up because his wife um, said after DJ, 20 years. Oh, DJ Envy. Envy. Yeah. Y'all, I guarantee you, you. After 10 years of No, 20 some years. Oh, tw- no, but it was in their 10 year. Okay. They they went 10 years of having sex, and she was like saying, I had never had an orgasm. So she told them that, him that, in the middle of an argument. Uh, and he said, he was like, like y'all, he had been with his wife for, like, since they were 18, for young. So he was like, man, I think I'm doing the good things. I'm yeah. putting on you. And she was yeah. just faking the whole time. Jesus she Christ. She was faking the whole <laughs> time. And oh, I guarantee yeah. you, he has sat in a room with some of his boys. Right. And been like, I'm killing oh, the I'm gang. Gonna, look, boy, well, first, first, yeah, first yeah, part, yeah. Let, me, let me tell you this. A man that's in love with a woman never sits in front of his boys and talk about how good it's going. Come on. That's true. That's true. Come on. Okay, that. Let me start there. If, no, you, if, would, if, if, your, if your husband or your husband has gotten with his boys talking about you, that's a problem. No, I agree. 
I yeah, I would I never talk. Yeah. I had never talked about Ooh, my sex life. Not your sex life. Gerald talk. Gerald would I talk, about talk about me it. so bad to make sure nobody else wants, wants to talk. me. <laughs> Gerald would be like, she crazy. Be like, I don't know about you. I didn't lie. No, it was this guy <laughs> I was dating. It was this guy. And Gerald called him and was like, man, she crazy. He was like, I don't know what you gonna do, but I'm gonna leave her alone. Damn. And the boy she left me alone, six. and Gerald kept calling. Hey, that was, that was real smart. Well, right first of all, we had a child together, so we gonna keep calling. Wait, right, right, right. Okay, well, I'm not a deadbeat dad. Whether Tim, with you or with, Tim, without you, I'm going to be dead. Look, Tim said it was one time, because the man of God has not always been complete these days, that he was out here, like, getting drunk one day, right? Mm -hmm. And he was like, let me tell you something. I'm glad for your sake that you chose to say yes. I said, wait, what? That's right. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I had plans on coming to the job acting a full monkey. And oh, my said God. That I was doing. Mind you, I want, I want everybody to know that we met working in law enforcement. Right. So don't nobody have time for you to be coming up acting to the job. Fool. Go up to that job and act a fool. You I'd have had a bull horn. No, listen, Gerald and I were, and we don't really talk about this too much, but it, we're not ashamed of it. We were professional physical fighters. Right, yep. We used to fist fight. Yep. Right? I'm talking about act a doggone fool. Yes, yes. I have chased him down the freeway. Baby. You haven't broke my nose one time. She oh. broke your nose? First of all. Yeah. Gerald ripped a romper off of me in the middle of the street <laughs> down to bra and panties. I promise you. You haven't hit me straight in the nose. I'm like, this is He grabbed head. the back of it and I was running. Please don't judge our oh church. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It ain't because it is. Look, nobody was harmed. That was an accident. I repeat. No, I got mad at him. I got, he came to my grandmama's house with, some other, with my uh. cousin and another guy. And then he was getting smart with me. And then he no, was no, telling I'll, them. Let me tell the story, please, baby. Because you, you tell this story wrong. That's not what happened. Wait, wait. Hey, PG, we now you just said, you just said. Her lens is like. Did you need her, to give them the full five minutes? <laughs> you oh, need to give them the full right, five right. minutes. You're actually right. I was pregnant. <laughs> You're right. I was pregnant with our first baby. Gerald came over, and I probably said something like, let me talk to you for a minute. Uh -uh. And he, hate, he hated That's that stuff because he knew it was trouble, whatever. Whenever so, she say, can I talk to you for a minute? I I'm, knew I'm being very Detroit girl. Like, so this is so, what? This what we doing? Like, right. Here, right. So he was like, get, get on my face. Get on my face. You know, so my mother looking over the steps like, Gerald and Tammy, y'all, cut it out. Like, stop it. Gerald walks out. He says it felt like I hit him with a frying pan. That's what he said. So then he says to his friends, come on, this, this other girl been waiting on me. I got to get over here. Baby, I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, my hormones is all over the place. He goes and sits in the car with his mama's gold herringbone chain on. I go sit in the door. Oh, he, he got a smile on his face. And I think I'm it's talking a real one. to him, and I got the chain like this, right? I got the chain, and Gerald starts saying, Tammy? <laughs> He's like, don't you break my mama's chain. <laughs> <laughs> this is the truth. Don't I you said, break listen, my mama's chain. This part of the story is true. I saw my daddy. I saw my father walk out that house, and I waited for him to get close enough where I knew I could get to him. Right. I snatched that chain and start running. <laughs> and I reached Gerald outside grabbed that the car. back of my romper, and I, I was still outside. running. And it just all came. <laughs> I had that romper sitting in my hand. Like <laughs> Down to my bra and pants. But how we got, see, I knew not to go in the house. But listening to her cousin and our other friend, right. they said, come on in, man, she ain't going to do nothing. I said, I'm telling you, Tammy in there? <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't been on good terms the last few days. I said, hey, it's going to be a mess. He's like, oh, man, come on in here. So I go in the house like a dummy. I go in that house. And I'm in there. I ain't even in there 10 minutes. And while I'm in there, because her, her whole family is hilarious. So I'm over there just laughing and joking. And I'm hilarious. Right. So we in there just, you see that? I'm hilarious. PG so, is always going to mention that so, he's funny. You see that? So I'm in there just joking with her grandma. And then we like, ah, ah, ah. she hear my voice. She all cackling. Tammy, oh, so you think everything's <laughs> funny. Everything is funny. <laughs> Tammy, come down upstairs and say, Come here, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> One minute. I said, oh, my God. And I was killing that, too. It was a Sunday. You were killing I had my high, I had a high-top fade. I had the, the, what's it called, the Gumby? Like Bobby Brown. I had the Bobby Brown. I had the Gumby, the Gumby. going on. I had my turtleneck with my mama's herringbone. It was about that thick. It was a nice one, too. Oh had my double, my soup mustard on this side, black on this side with no lapels. Come on. You know, I'm killing them. <laughs> and I walk up. I said, here she go. She take me over them steps. She's like, so. You, what you doing? Where you going? I said, we just, out, girls gone I said, we just out here chilling. She's like, you, are you on your way over to that other girl's house? I said, no, why you don't say that? And she just going off. I said, Tammy, I got time to fool with you today. Not to, we not doing this today. <laughs> and then I said something smart. She smacked me. Oh, you Smack. said, that's why I'm about to go over to this other girl's 
Uh-huh. Yeah, she said something crazy. I, I, I said some crazy. She smacked me. And I said, see, her mom was at the top. I said, see, she crazy. <laughs> I said, she just crazy. Oh, my God. So then I said, when I, was, I, said, I said, come on, Dana. Come on, Ollie, let's go. We got to go. I got to get out of here. I said, that's why I'm having them take me over to that other girl house. Not having them take me over, though. Having them yeah, take me over. I wouldn't drive at the time. I wouldn't drive. As <laughs> soon as I walked out that house, Tammy hit me in the back of my head. I don't remember Still that. to this day, I think she hit me with a fry. You black girl, you black girl. I hit my eyes, everything started going. I don't remember that one. <laughs> I went down. You ever seen the Bionic Man? Ding, 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 ding. Okay. And I got up, and then that rest was the truth. Okay, so we've talked a lot, I feel, about some of the, the, uh, the pits or the valleys <laughs> involved in being <laughs> in marriage. But let's talk about some of the good things, yes. right? Absolutely. Because, yes, we all have stories, even though Tim was lying about how I hit him. I ne- it was never on purpose. It was by accident. My hands. I just so said happy. you broke my you nose, slipped. and that's what you <laughs> did. You really did slip. It was bald. Did your fist really was, break your, your nose? Fist was, nah, man. Your okay. fist was balled up? Nah, I, 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 I'm sure I was balled up. Because you ever seen that Kinda meme? how Will accidentally smacked Chris. No, nah, but he had too much time to think about it. I didn't have the time that Will had. I mean, yeah, I mean, you had to sit here and anticipate. Because you don't got hands. Wait, but you hit what? me dead in my nose. First of all, you said, I used to be a boxer. <laughs> you used to do kickboxing. Hey, hold on. <laughs> she was rich. <laughs> <laughs> she used right. to be a boxer. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> like, let's. Don't, don't do me. I love but, it. But you I hit me square it. in my nose. Oh, I my love God. it. First of, all, First of all, he would never let me live that down. Oh, my God. And it was it. never intentional. That was pretty traumatic. I mean, did you go to the hospital? Did you die? I didn't want you to go to jail. Okay. Well, here we are. I mean, well, this don't help. <laughs> okay, so pink uh, valleys. Let's talk about some good stuff, though. Okay. Marriage has its rough moments, right? Yes, it Absolutely. Does. So we're having a 23-year-old and a 9-year-old conversation about marriage. So what are some qualities about each other? That you feel make your marriage make you want to stay married. Mm-hmm. What is something that not that you just love about her, right? Or not you, that you love about him, but there is something that is keeping y'all together in spite of all y'all bitterness. So what is that? Wait, you want me to say? You can start. Oh, um, let me. T- let me. Hello, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jill. Um, let me. Let me be honest. I knew. I knew. I needed her. Oh, okay. And still today, I know I need her. Um, every time she opened her mouth to speak, I know I need her. Like, literally. We pulling in the driveway today to come here to do this. She said something. I said, see, that's what I'm talking about. Nope. Like, she's been, yeah, she's, she know how to save the day. Mm. And, um, and with it, and I'm not saying that just to um, gas you up. She know you I tell her. I tell her. <laughs> right. she no, I tell her this all the time. That's one of the most attractive things about her yeah. to me is her brain. Oh, yeah. Um, is she's super smart. She's, she know how to figure things out. And I've always needed that. Even when we were broken up, I call her Tammy. Help me. How <laughs> help do I? Me. How do I help? <laughs> She'll figure it out. She'll come to rescue. We went, we ain't even dating. She's showing up helping me with an, another girl situation. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? That's how. And so I was like, Yo, when you got one like that, keep it. That's it. Um, so that's that's my. And for me, it's probably his consistency. Mm. Like Gerald is the most consistent person. I have ever met in my entire life. Like, if it doesn't matter what's going on. Like, he, I could know he's having the worst day. He'll be walking through the house whistling. He, I can tell you where he's at, what he's doing. Like, he's just consistent. And so for me, that's like, there, I find safety in that. Oh, that's good. You know, I find safety yeah. in knowing who this man is, not with me, but without me. Therefore, I know he's that with me because that's just who he is. So for me, it's consistent. Uh, it's consistent. Timothy? Well, you know, pretty much the same thing, uh, PG. <laughs> I, I realized I needed you. You helped me through a lot of stuff. You know, you made me stronger. You made me want to do better. Wow. That's good. You know what I mean? So, because I was just doing life. You made me understand life. Right? Woo! That's and, uh, good stuff. And, and that one, that's one of the reasons why I want to be with you. You just made me a better person. Wow. Even though you was mean. <laughs> I was like, I now, get now listen, <laughs> they're all mean. I don't care what <laughs> every mean. woman in the world is mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three out of the four. Mean. Three out of the four. They say, weeks what they tell they say, mean and surly. <laughs> Three out of the four weeks, women are experiencing cramping, soreness, pain, blah, blah. Y'all lucky we even Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Like we not. Uh, what? Oh my Feeling God. pain. I'm in pain now. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my name is Gerald. I'm in pain. And if I be honest, Tammy might have pushed me down this stretch. <laughs> 
<laughs> since we tell the truth. I would never push you. I would never. As soon as I fell, I look back. Look at this. I would never. Hey, she was there quickly. Right, she, she was there quick. quick. It was just too quick. <laughs> I, would I would say, never. I would say about you, um, I think the, the thing that would make me or convince me at that point then and now to get married to you and stay married to you is the ability for me to have autonomy over myself. Mm. Like, I need to wow. still be able to be me. Mm. And you no. give me the opportunity. Like, I, I'm uh, uh, I'm your wife. Yes. I'm Tabitha's mom. Yes. But the part of me that uh, allows me to be creative, to go out and do the stuff that I need to do without having to do all this extra stuff or worrying about whether or not you're going to be offended because I had to stay late for a, a work session or whatever. Those things are the things that allow me to be my full individual self and mm. also give me, like, appreciation for you so that I can also pour back into you. That's mm. good. That's good. That's because good. That's good. good. I mean, I really, I, honestly, that's, and, and I say this all the time, I, 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 I don't, I, I advocate for marriage in the sense that you can't, when you partner up with someone, your your individuality doesn't mm. necessarily go away. Right. right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You just learn to to kind of mesh it together. That's good. And if I can find, if you can find, uh, Demetria L. Lucas, she's a relationship therapist, says, if you can find a lid to your pot, someone that Ooh, compliments that's you good. That's good. in how you're doing life, meaning like not stifles you. Absolutely. And the other part of it too is that growing up, and I'll <laughs> say specifically in the Haitian community because that's where I come from, Marriage was all, always kind of um, rationalized in a way that women were always doing the supportive work. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just it wasn't just like uh, and now it, 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 it's not just like it was like you had to be everything to everybody and then also to your spouse. Yeah. So yeah. that to me that didn't seem appealing to me. Got you. So when I found someone. That, cause I think I was in, I was in get my master's at the time, so I was in seminary. Yeah. I, like I was, um, I was ranked at the police department at the time. I had, I had so much going on mm. that, like, either you had to be okay with, you had to be flexible with me, right, yeah. right, for us to work. And right. as long as you were flexible for me, I'll give you more than that. I'll give you more of my time on the back end. But like right now, if I'm studying and I'm focused, that's where I'm at. And he gave me that space. And that made me want to be there for him even more. Wow. I like when you just said, wow. um, find the lid to your pot. I think Love it. especially, is that my phone ringing? It's on Do Not Disturb. Um, <laughs> Before we started, I said, Tammy. It's <laughs> on Do Not Disturb. It's one of the kids. Can you an go ahead and answer it and start, start it over? Um, the lid to your pot, right? Especially in church, there's this idea that you have to almost be one in the same, yeah. like, yeah. Um, like in like ministry compatible and that yeah. kind of stuff. Equal, and that's, that's what they call equally yoked. Yoke. Yeah, that's what they, that's call. What they call, but that ain't what that ain't what it means. That's exactly. what they call yeah. equally yoke, but that's not what it means. Mm. But th that that idea also has people staying in marriages where I think I think most things I think ninety five percent of issues are workable. Yes, yeah. in I marriage. believe so too. But um, it'll have people disregarding the marriage portion and focusing solely on the ministry portion because here we fit, here we gel, here we mesh, but home is a hot mess. Right. Yeah. But you zeroed in on the fact that you're able to do ministry together when it should be the other way around. Right. Like right. your marriage right. should be your first focal point and that should be healthy. How in the world, how in the world do I get up, walk in this church, Minister with Gerald. We like, praise the Lord. This is Pastor Gerald, Pastor Tammy. Praise the Lord. And we got this united front and breathe is powerful. And we preaching together and doing all this, that, the other. And we go home and can't talk to each other. Right. That's just yeah. about as backwards. So we telling y'all about a God that can do anything, but we not letting him heal our marriage. Wow. That's crazy to me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And so I think the reason a lot of marriages get there is because a lot of people marry for the reason of we are ministry compatible. Yeah. Right, right, right. Versus... I like you, I, and I want to see what you look like naked. Like, and I think, and I no, think that's what it should all be you about. Gotta, and you ha you got to wow. like the person, right? Yeah. Because other than that, this thing ain't really going to work. It wow. really is not going right. to work if you don't like the person. And actually, it brings me to another question about the ministry component. Okay. Because I feel like the ministry component adds a different level of 
I'm going to use the word chaos mm. to the marriage component. People yes. think that just because you married and y'all ministers or y'all pastors or mm-hmm. whatever, right. that, that means that everything's going to be uh, great or even better because mm-hmm. y'all got Jesus. No, that means that the enemy is on He's trying. Alert. He's Absolutely. attacking from both angles at this right. point. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's hard. And, it's and believe it or not, I believe, and you all probably see this in marriage. I'm sure you already have seen it in marriage ministry. But I believe that sometimes the pastors take attacks because the enemy is after some of the people. Yeah. Right. And he ain't got he ain't even zeroed in on us. But yeah. he know this couple right here, if the only thing that's the only leg they standing on right now is this church. Right. If I can tear this up from the flow up, right. I got them. Right. right. So a lot of times we take darts. Y'all people in ministry yeah. take darts because yeah. the enemy is after Absolutely. the people in the seat. Like yeah. he ain't halfway checking for us. So I think even even Feeling like you want to do ministry together is like, you sure? I, I, I'm going to tell you, I remember when me and Yami, we, we, I didn't know she was a PK, mm-hmm. uh-huh. right? And then we got together the day and I said, God called me to ministry. Yami was like, what? I said, <laughs> no. He's not calling me to marry you. God bless you. <laughs> That's what she said, for real. She was like, no, no we're not getting married. No, no. I'm not marrying my dad. Gerald yeah. was like, I don't want nobody like my mama. Yeah. And he, she was like, what? And that's crazy because most people want people like their mom. And he said, I don't want nobody I like my mom. I personally wanted the opposite because my mom was, she she pray and speak in tongues all day. Which here's, <laughs> which here's the crazy part about it. My mom prayed and speak in tongues all day and always blah, blah, lock herself in the closet for three months. And like <laughs> Literally <laughs> lock herself in the church for three months. Like she would do this. I was like, jeez, I don't want that all day. But here's what's crazy. The first year of our marriage, she did it. Had to. Somebody was crazy. <laughs> and it, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what's funny is, and girl, I don't know if you remember this, right, right around the third year of marriage, we were riding in a car, and you was like, you don't be praying and speaking in tongues like you used to no more. Uh-huh. Is that, is that Judge Daryl coming out? Judge yeah. Daryl. So you didn't change. So you didn't change, woman <laughs> of God. You ain't praying like right. you used to. I'm like, excuse God me. God didn't get everything out of me. Now you done with it. <laughs> <laughs> get back to what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> No, but I, it's it's real, cause I, cause it honestly, Tim had told me before we got married that uh, that he he had been called to ministry. I'd have been like, you yeah. can't do this. Yeah, actually, right. actually, I think my ex, that solidified it for my ex husband, cause my ex husband was like, I think I'm called to ministry. I was like. That's proof that I don't need to be married and to you. God, God bless said, you. God said, wow. fix you. You're going to get in this ministry one right. way or the other. Can I, tell you, can I tell you how he fixed me? Because even, when we, came, even when we came here. We were like, all Fixed. right, cool. We're going to breathe for a little bit, right? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, no, ministry. <laughs> and not only ministry, ministry together. That's yeah. right. Which yeah. is a different, it's a different element. Yeah, it was totally ministry. against that. Ministry I, together, I'm like, we'll never oh, do I'm that. Not yeah. Listen, uh, Before y'all brought it up. Yeah, she was I remember like, you oh, I, I ain't going to be. I was like, when PT, <laughs> when PT texted me, it was like, yeah, I think that you guys should be a part of the marriage ministry. I was like, girl, what? We was <laughs> like, get in here. But, but I'm going to tell you why. Because we, wa- I wasn't watching, like, I don't watch a lot of stuff. I watch the weirdest stuff. <laughs> but Tammy would watch our YouTube. Yeah. She would watch our YouTube, and then she'd be like, girl, you got to see this. Tammy and Yami are good. She's like, they're really good. And then she made me watch a couple of episodes. I'm laughing. I'm like... This is funny. <laughs> so I was like, yo, we got to put them, like, we gotta put them like to work. Put, we got to put them to work. I was like, yeah. they got to go to work. Because what happens with a ministry, I believe, and this is a sidebar of what we're talking about, right. is that the only way we can grow is that we find people. We can't do everything. Yeah. Right, right. So when God, it's like God sent y'all to us real talk. Yeah. Sent, until y'all start pastoring, I believe y'all got that? sent you y'all. See that? Hold until y'all start Hold pastoring. Hey, he threw that. Don't say no. Don't, don't say no because when we you say no, that's when it starts. I know y'all, but that's why I already know what we know. It is what it is. We're not to say this. We bracing ourselves already. When God sent y'all, I was like, yo, God sent us another version, and y'all remind us of ourselves. Now, here's the crazy part. May 3rd, the way we got married. The way y'all act. The way y'all act. The way we act. It's like God sent another a mirror of ourselves so we won't have to be in that area of worrying about the marriage ministry. Yeah. Like literally, don't have to worry about it. But we were you know? we were super protective of the marriage ministry right. because that's like where our heart and passion is. And so we didn't just Absolutely. want to put somebody over it. We wanted to put somebody over it that thought like us about about marriage, right. um, was totally committed to their marriage, and that was transparent. Are I don't married? want nobody <laughs> talking to no married people about like, and you know, God is good. Just pray. No, no. I need to some therapy. Ther- you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Therapy up in his feet. Let me go ahead and re- let me. I got somebody for you. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> okay. Some what's more. Some, like, some more questions? Yes. Let's do some more questions. Okay. You and if, if any questions out there, y'all know y'all. Yeah, ready. y'all, y'all have any questions? Yeah. 
No, you go, go ahead. You you can do this one. Okay. I'll just make sure they knew. No, this okay. one. They gonna. Okay. Charlene got a question. This one. This one. Go ahead. Put you out there. They say the person who knows who they, they say the person who controls your relationship is in love the least. Who is in control of y'all relationship? Tammy. <laughs> that so means you, she loves you the least. You I don't. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I don't. I don't think. I don't, that, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's true. Hold on, he go. He go PG. I don't either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, pro- providing an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that. I mean, where do people get this stuff? Like somebody's in love the least. Like bye. We're in love. Yeah, we're in love. I, let me ask you this: Who sits when y'all are at home eating? What? Who sits to your left? Whoever's at the head of the table, who's sitting to the left? Yeah, at the head of the table. Our table's around. So. Still, okay, who's to your left? It's us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay, us. so who's to your left? Who's to your left? It's probably Tab. Him or Tabby. Him or Tab? Uh, Tab, either one. Oh, who to your left? You, you could to my left, yeah. Am I too young? What, yeah, what, what is right? This is right. Girl, me too. <laughs> I don't know like, what's right and left. Because right yeah. I, found, I found out a month ago, talking to one of my mentors who went to school for this. He said the person that sits to the to the left of the head of the head of the table is in charge. Runs the house. He said they run the house or even even run the meetings in meet in boardroom. I would like to say even I, if they even if they're quiet. Control to Yana. What? <laughs> That's what he told me. He said whoever sits to the left. And when I sit there, like right now, to my left. <laughs> <laughs> you just tickled yourself. <laughs> And, but wait, wait. But that's not a that's not a bad thing of that being. It just right, is right. what it is. Like I was telling him when he when he mentioned, he said, "Who sits y'all?" I said, "Either Tammy or my baby boy Blair." Blair. Yeah. I don't sit to y'all. Like, and then I when he right. and then when he said that, I said, "He Blair. sure do. He sets the temperature for the house. He really does. He's, he's a, if he was a girl, he would be exactly like his mom. Yeah, yeah. But I'm he's, he's the boy version of his mama. I'm not as bad as Blair. For 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 that point. It's probably Tabitha. Her yeah. name Tabitha control our whole lives. Man, she's pretty much the boss. Yeah. Okay, question. Who sits to the left of you? Who sits to the Think left? Think about it at home. Who sits right, to the Dana. left? Whoever sits to the left, they say My control My bestie is rush. online. Right, Dana? I'm your bestie. <laughs> <laughs> Dana so be ready to fight. Wait, Dana, don't fight me. Listen, especially she, she from Detroit. I ain't no, got time. No. no, she from Cali. Oh, I ain't got time for them either. Listen, <laughs> listen. She been bloods and crips. All right, got connections like, and games. I ain't got it. I ain't listen. got it. All right, so questions. Anybody in the room got a question? Yeah, do y'all got a question? Uh-oh. Come on, Chris. What you got? Give him, give him the mic. Do you believe you should practice dating? What that mean? Yeah, what do that mean, Chris? Chris, you got to make sure you break this one down for the people online. Question. And I'm so glad think. that's coming from a man. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man I'm of God. So you don't just play the bass. You right. got some insight. <laughs> oh, okay. They said ask it again. So I, I was saying, how do, uh, do you believe that you should practice dating what you want to see in your marriage? And if so, how do you uh, translate what you uh, want in your marriage while dating? I'm going to say yes. I'll say yes. Um, as, as much as you possibly can in a dating relationship. And the way you translate it, I think, is to communicate it. Okay. I think you should just be honest, talk about what you want, talk about what you're looking for, allow her to do the same thing, and, and see what that looks like. Now, I suggest, if it's, and let me make sure I'm saying this right, are you asking, like, what you want to see out of her, and, and she's saying what you want to see out of you well, in a marriage? Well, essentially what I'm saying is, like, okay, for, for an example, like, um, I believe, like, like for like a, reg- a random example, so I believe, like, if you're married, like, like you guys said earlier, like, you know, if you guys did, wasn't married and you guys had, um, like, other people as a relationship, would they be okay with y'all being friends? Right. So, like, for example, like me, like, I don't believe in, like, exes having access to my girl. I ain't right. even that at all. Right. 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 So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to practice things like that in a relationship. Right. And you want to practice it. Yeah, well, we You don't practice. want her to have and you don't want to have access to exes. Right. So right. I want to practice not just stuff like that, but I want to practice things like that that I want to doing in marriage because I don't I don't believe in the notion like oh well I'm gonna do this when I get married like, I feel like if you're not practicing it leading it up to marriage it's not gonna be a switch I agree with that I agree with that yeah but well let me say something because since you since you explained it that way for the people on here that didn't hear what he's saying he's like um, while you're dating he doesn't want his girl to have access to exes and he would do the same thing oh damn whatever whatever I feel you I do here's my only issue with that 
Um, I feel like there are certain things that you will get when you marry me. Until then, it's a nice idea. And there are some things that I, I would be willing to relinquish, right? But I cannot stop my life, end relationships. I cannot restrict access to me for a man that's saying he wants something but has not yet done it. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if we're of age. Like if you, if you want to do it, like at the very least, put a ring, now with a ring on my finger, now we can talk about something. But we can't go dating and I got my costume rings and stuff on and you <laughs> telling me to cut access. You get what I'm saying? It's like, word, like, you know what I'm saying? So look, real, real intention, I think, has to be put in place for a boyfriend to be able to say, I, I don't want any of your exes or anybody to have access to you. That's mm -hmm. what I think. And, right. and I think, do you want to go? No, you can go ahead. I'll go ahead. I was going to say, and um, I hope I'm answering this right, Me for me, I think if you're, because most men, we're not thinking marriage if we're in the, when we're dating, technically, you know, most men. But when you find yourself in that space, like, I'm ready to get married. Mm. I'm ready to be with her and her only. You start taking, I call what it takes, it's called uh, mental notes mm -hmm. of the things I want in a relationship. I wouldn't tell her personally, I'm looking for a wife who's clean, who I can trust. Who uh, smell good? She gotta look like this. She gotta look. I ain't telling her all that. I'ma see her actions. Mm -hmm. See who she really is. I'ma see who she really is. I'ma let her just be her, just like cause I'ma be me. So I'ma let her be her. And while she's being her, if I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. And then maybe I mention like, hey, what do you think about not doing like you know your ex? <laughs> like, how come he got access to you? Boy, you ain't. Da -da 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 -da. No, but I don't so, think it would be. Hold that. on, just, hold on. Let me just. Like, let, this is my my thought. Uh -uh. <laughs> Allow her to have, well, allow him to have his five minutes. Right, right. <laughs> no, but I don't think it's just that. But I will throw it out there to see what she says, and then say, and then start asking the question like you asked us. Say, say, so you think in, in marriage you would be, still be friends with your ex? Let her tell on herself. But like, absolutely. <laughs> but no, what if she was like, absolutely not? Like, but I if she said that absolutely, those requests are for husbands. I agree, but I'm saying if you ask the question and she says, absolutely, like why not? We just friends. We just did it. Cause she can bring that into the relationship. I, I don't want. I don't want Johnny up. boy calling my girl. I don't want you know, Chris. You can't be calling her because she's your ex. Absolutely not. Here's right, the right. here's but the now, way that you can keep Johnny boy from calling your girl. Make sure her phone is on the other nightstand in y'all's bedroom <laughs> with both of y'all's <laughs> name on the mortgage. That's how you can make sure Johnny ain't calling. Here's and all you do like me. I made sure to see Tammy's ex boyfriends were gay. Oh God! <laughs> so. So with them being gay, they, oh, <laughs> they can call. Okay, I tell you, Ladies and gentlemen, flag on the play. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris, one of the times, one of the times, oh, one of the times, exes, I say, oh, call him and have him come get you, pick oh, you up. My oh, y'all want to, y'all want to go look at the same thing anyway. That man <laughs> is not gay. Uh, baby, what was you going to say? I'm just saying. No, no, I was going to say, I, I, cannot. I don't know. That's, that's, I agree. Please don't not come to our church. I would say, You're like, if you, um. If you, if you want to put demands, me personally, if you want to put demands on your girlfriend to not deal with the ex, you need to have a strong commitment knowing that you're going to be with her. I agree with that. First of all, you know. I but for that. me, I'm going to tell you, for me, like, when I, I begin to change without even trying to change, right? I was just about I, to say I, know, I no longer wanted to, wanted other women around me at, at that point. I, don't, I didn't know why, but God began yeah. to shift me into that mold wow. of becoming a husband. I became a husband before I became a husband, huh. I believe. Wow. Listen. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're, on a, we're on the same wavelength. Because right. I was about to say, I think naturally you'll end up going into those progressions. Right. Like, like I said to Tim beforehand, Tim never said I was your girlfriend. So for me, I was still, I mean, we were living together, but it was kind of like. No, nah, but you season. living together. Listen, I said what I said. Put it like this. <laughs> Can a, could a man, could, could you have a man sitting on the couch watching TV? He's not going to tell you that he was still talking to his ass girlfriend. But okay. Okay, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, uh -oh. Okay, uh -oh. Wait, wait, no, I wasn't. He's getting hot in here. He, I was, no. he, she was still calling you. She, she was still calling you. She was calling me. But that's I, what I said. <laughs> what I said, you still answer the phone. But here's my point. Here's my point. Naturally, I think naturally, Damn. when he said girlfriend, I'll right, say right, this. Right. When he said girlfriend, it that clicked something for me. Because I was, then I was thinking, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and eventually what it, what eventually happened is that i knew i knew going into it like stuff like that as far as like girlfriends and stuff like that i really don't care about that stuff i, I honestly 
truly like as as funny as people think. Yeah, and be like, hey, can she pay a bill? That's that's legit where I'm at. But I knew that was a thing for him. So naturally, my my because we're doing we're becoming a thing. My natural inclination is to t- adjust according to how I think that it's going to make him feel comfortable. Yeah. Because I like him. I love him, and I want him to feel comfortable in his relationship with me. And if that's the case, then if this is, like, it's, it's light work to just not talk to somebody who I'm not thinking about being in a relationship with <laughs> anyway. Definitely Haitian. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> but, no, like, I don't think, I think when we first got married, I was a little more insecure about you know the girls and stuff like that but then after a while like i'm friends with a couple of the ex like i would be too we kick it it's like whatever because that like if you can get him he ain't mine right mm-hmm. and then why, get him, he not like, mine. why do you want to be with someone who don't want to be kept anyway right like, it's, wow. it's that thought too because wow. it's kind of like if i'm ha- if i'm having to do all this work <laughs> i could be i could be getting the doctorate Somebody. I could be a, a millionaire working right. on that. You are a millionaire. Yeah. You're rich. I, I am. Rich. Oh, I am. Somebody right. on TikTok said um, they were always told, don't do wife things for a boyfriend. I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think a lot of times that's translated into um, just sex. Yeah. Right, right. But no, like, like, mm-mm. I, I, I have, I know, I know people that have boyfriends and they're like cooking for these jokers from scratch, baking homemade cakes, all this kind of stuff that he probably sitting and enjoying with somebody else, you know what I'm saying? And so Can you it's imagine? Like, now that you want to set me no, off? No, baby, don't. Then <laughs> let's flip this table over now. Let me tell Uh-oh. y'all what this one did. Oh God! Oh, let God. me tell y'all. Want to know what your pastor did? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let us hear it. What he let's not let's not lose no members. Hold on. <laughs> no, so she had to sit back for this. You one. know, like we said, we dated for nine years, and we were we we were friends. So there was a legitimate friendship there, even when we were on the outs, right? And so. Um, I called him, or did you call me one day and said, I, got members, I, I, called, don't I called him, thank you, and uh, I was like, what you doing today? And he was like, nothing, why? He was always so nasty, <laughs> right? Why? He's still like that kind of, he was like, no, why? And I was like, I was just, you know, um, you know, calling to see what you're doing. He was like, okay, nothing. And I said, okay, I said, because I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get a new car today. He hangs up on me. I didn't know at the time he calls my mother at work. Joan, Tammy says she's going to get a new car today. And Joan says, that's what she's saying, that's what she's doing, right? right? He hangs up with my mother. He calls me back and says, come get me, right? First of all, it's a come I, get like me. the fool I was in my 20s. Come on, 20s. That's why I judge nobody, right? Went, picked him up, we go, to back in the day, see y'all not as old as me. Back in the day, it was these little Jeep trucks that the top would come off. Some were saw, called sidekicks, some were called trackers, oh. right? I got a sidekick, so I'm sitting in there um, with my mom, because I was spoiled, my mother was buying a car, right? I'm in my 20s, so mm-hmm. I don't know how to drive a stick. <laughs> Never had a stick, right? But they only had two cars on the lot. They had um, a red one that had a black car top, and it was a stick. Or they had a white one with pink stripes. It was an automatic. I'm a girl. I don't drive a stick, right? He talks me into getting the stick shit. He was like, I'm going to teach you how to drive it. Gerald drove my new truck off of that lot and kept it for three months. He pulled up in front of my house one day while I'm sitting. No, listen to this. I I need some tissue. While I'm sitting on the porch, hungry, back in the beeper days. (laughs) I beeped him hours ago and said, I'm hungry. Will you bring me something to eat? I'll be by there later. Mind you, he's in my truck. He comes by four hours later. I'm sitting on the porch. Gerald pulls up in my truck, top down, four girls in my car. Three. (laughs) (laughs) He he like that make it better. (laughs) Right. (laughs) (laughs) Terrence, thank you. I was doing ministry. Flag on the play. And then here's what he didn't get. had, my cousin Ali had the gray version of my truck. So right. he's, in, he's in front of Gerald. So they like a gang, right? <laughs> so he, Gerald is like, they not even with me. These Ali's girls. Which they were. He couldn't fit them all in his truck. <laughs> Which they were. So, but I'm like, and I'm going to say something. I'm like, you were. in my car. I told you I was hungry. 
Right. And you driving these chicks around, and you, like, that's the kind of stuff, and that's why you can't, even though I may have thought, even though God had told me this was my husband, you don't do husband-wife things with boyfriends. You, you don't like, do it. You did, you why did. did he have my car in the first place? I told y'all you can drive a minutes stick. ago, don't do anything we've done. <laughs> Don't Listen, do anything. These are the fla- these are the flashing lights, Listen. the warning signals. But, but, also, of, but wait, I have minutes. to redeem the none of the girls I was kicking it with, with or messing with. Because think about it. Why would I pull on her block with three girls? Because you was the ballsy. Car? I wasn't that ballsy. Ministry. <laughs> I wasn't that ballsy. I was on the block with her already with her cousin. I believe you. Hanging it was, out. It was I, all innocent. It, I believe you. It was yeah. all innocent. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah, I'm already on her block I, hanging out it, it just with don't her make cousin. No sense for him to do that if it wasn't thank you. Y'all don't make sense. So I that sounds like the unsaved version. Y'all know this man. No, so listen. I was on the block. <laughs> I was hanging out with her cousin. We were at the house. All these girls that came over. And then he's like, we about to ride. Jerry, you go out? I said, yeah, I'm going to go. So he said, well, someone ride with you. So I, someone ride with me. I said, okay. And we let him ride. Now, 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 I will now say I this. I have an issue with my cousin, too. That's who I issue getting to be with, with <laughs> Ollie. Ever since I met Pastor Jerry, he's always been kind-hearted. So I can see him doing that. <laughs> Tim. I can see him Tim, doing that. Tim. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, Tim. Oh, Cover me, Tim. Flag on the Cover play. me. Oh, my God. What is going on? Cover okay, me. That's what I believe. Question, that's what I'm talking question, about, Tim. Thank question, you, Tim. Next question. Next question. You got to have somebody to cover you. Terrence, cover me. You got another question, anybody? Charlene got a question. She does. All right. Go ahead. Oh, wait wait a minute. Dana asked a question, which y'all got to watch Dana. She asked a whole bunch of questions. She's my best friend. She asked a whole bunch of questions. She's the most Christian carnal person I know. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Dana will cuss you out and then give you like a prophetic word. I love her. She's my best friend. And she ain't afraid to say whatever she needs to say. She's my best friend. She asked, is it okay to date two people at the same time? Multiple people. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go with yes. Yes. As long but, as you're but is not. That giving them, is that giving them cookie, cake, ice cream too? Now, uh, what version of the answer? You, you, what you version of up? the answer do you want me to give you? I'm you want me to give me the the? You, you gonna look up your cookie? You gonna look up your cookie? Your cookie spoiled. Your cookie, your cookie, your cookie, your cookie you, is nasty. You want the pre the pre yummy or the uh, the no, nasty yummy? I want the okay. truth. I think I I legit think that it's it's. I don't think it's nothing wrong with dating other people, like multiple people. But is that you commit a relationship? No, that's not that's that's. I'm going to say that you know your body. <laughs> so you want to be careful about that. It's COVID out here. It's STD. COVID probably. went around there. I'm just saying. Oh, you're talking about now. Oh, you're talking about. <laughs> right. It's STD. Those things okay, I, th- I think you need to take into consideration. But honestly, I would be opposed, even though I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right this time. I would be opposed to dating multiple people and having sex with multiple people. I agree. Yeah, I don't think it's safe. I don't think I don't right. think it's nothing wrong with dating multiple people. Yeah, I don't think it's but nothing giving wrong. yourself right. to multiple people, I wouldn't do. And I the just reason don't think it's, I don't and, think it's safe or wise. Right. And I'm gonna wise, give a couple right. of reasons. Because if you know your sexual drive, yeah, I don't think you should do that. Because <laughs> if your sexual drive is at a place where, let's say, let's say you dating hypothetically you dating Tim at the time. He know how to say that right thing to get you going. That's what yep. he did. But then let's say the other guy, you're like, he don't talk good. But boy, he's a, he got the body of a of a god. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or vice versa. So you find that thing in him, you're like, all right, here then you give yourself to him. Now guess what? You're pregnant. Right. Then we going through you the 304. I'm old school. I don't say the other word. She used that. I say 304 because I do the beeper. You gotta turn your beeper upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Put three or four in. You're but then you run around harlot. like saying, whose baby is it? You're a harlot. Like, you okay, but wait a minute. We got a good question and I don't want it to go away. And I already know what the men are going to say. No, don't go um, what we don't say. Give us a chance. Should old problems be brung up when it's over? And how do you handle it if the person can't get over it? Is this a man asking the question? Oh, my goodness. No, it's a woman. Mm. Go ahead, Tim. Ask the question one more time. Should old problems be brought up over and over again even when it's over? And then how do you get over stuff? Go ahead, Tim. Okay. I believe once y'all you addressed it, it should, it should be done. That's just what I believe. Because I, I always have a problem. Yami does this sometimes. She'll keep go. on reminding me of stuff that I did a long time ago. And I'm like, look, if we talked about it, we got over, why do I got to keep going back to this? I didn't. I had another point. But I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, so, but, you know, I, I can't she, tell them how to get years over. Years later, I, you know, I got a point about that thing we talking about. And another thing. <laughs> 
I'm definitely a, and another thing type of person. I am definitely. But, a but I also think that the person who offended has to understand that that person who's offended, who who's hurt, has the right to heal. You can't tell them how long it is how long to it lament. Takes the process. Right. But I do. I I agree. But let me say this: I do think there need to be a time of. Even while you're healing, you shouldn't keep throwing up in their face. You shouldn't do that. I agree that, with that, too. It's like at yep. a time, like, Wendy, if you if you done beat him up or her up already about the situation, right? Them been beat up and beat up and um, I asked you for forgiveness. I did every, took every step you asked. You said, go to counseling. We did it. Or you have anger problems and we went and fixed that. Yeah. Or we did it and you keep bringing it up, poking. It's almost poking at it. You're the one that need healing. The person right. who keeps bringing it up needs I, the healing. I agree. Yeah. I think if it's being brought up, it's because it's You're really, not it hasn't yet. been dealt with. Exactly. Yet. It hasn't been dealt with. And so it's it's not fair. But then, see, but then here's the thing, too. Everybody's time frame ain't the same. Right. That's like what thing. I And this is just my personal experience. What I've noticed is a guy will be like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then we only two weeks in and you feel like it should be no more conversation. This may take me two years. Yeah. It just might take right. me two years. Yes. It I, just might. I agree. I think, well, I agree. And I agree there shouldn't be a time stamp put on it, but at the same time there should be. Because you wonder why a lot of relationships end. Um, because somebody who is broken, and maybe and maybe I'm the person that broke them. Yeah. Let right. me admit, maybe I'm the person who actually broke the person. But now, since I broke the person, and I, I apologize, I realize it was me that broke you. Yeah. I want to help heal you. Right. So now, in my helping heal you process, I'm going through you beating up on me and constantly talking about it, constantly. I didn't want to counsel. Like I said, I went to counsel. I'm seeking help. I didn't ask for forgiveness. You said you said you forgive me. Yeah, yeah. You said that God told me to forgive you. And we, we and you're smiling one day, then the next day, you're, yeah, so on, so on. And, and sometimes what happens is you can actually be pushing me further away. Right. I, no, be I agree. Here's why I agree with that's you. That's in my right? opinion. No, here's why I agree with you. I think for me, I know that that, that has been a problem in our relationship for sure. One of the things that I had to do personally was get therapy for Yanny. Yeah. Because a lot of times when we're fighting, like when, when I was, when I'd be fighting with Tim about something that he said or done, it's not just fighting with Tim about the, that specific incident. It's stuff from childhood that yeah. hasn't healed. And now it's kind of like coming on, top, yeah, coming on top of each other. Yeah. I would say now though, practically going into our ninth year. One of the, I think that we have gotten better, or at least for me, I have gotten so much better with regards to, if I said, because words mean something to me. Mm -hmm. So if I say something, I, A, I mean it, and I want my words to have value. So if I say I'm letting it go, yeah. my actions are to do that. And I had to find practical ways to do that because my memory is long, right? Mm. I don't remember, let me tell you something. I don't remember everything, but. If you tell a lie, she will remember I will that. go back and she don't remember Rolodex. everything, but she remember that. Thing. Yeah, y'all got, y'all got like. But then Tim, you said it. Nineteen seventy-two. One hundred terabyte drive. See, here's the thing. <laughs> y'all hear? Tim, Tim would have had to put some things in play for her to even be able to go to there therapy needs to be some and heal. Right? right. A lot of times, we're expected to just get yeah. over something when the offender has not changed their behavior. Yeah. Now, hasn't with that. done anything. And then the thing about women is. Okay, so, and then let's be clear. Most women are not given the time to heal. It's, I'm sorry, let's have sex. You get what I'm saying? Or, I'm sorry, you forgive me? Right, and then, and then you want us to respond to you in a way that suggests there, that nothing has happened. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm messed up. Mm. I, I don't want nobody touching me. Like, don't touch me. Don't think I can be affectionate and loving and all that kind of stuff. And then another thing is, I think very few people are actually going and having therapy. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Like they're not really um, having, they're not really having therapy to deal with, to deal with the issue the little that people, they're having. The yes. little people that they live inside of them. Absolutely. So no, but I agree with you. So I think, has a that was too. something I had to learn too. Like I had to let Yami lament as long as she had to lament. Because what we have now, I'd be like, you should be over because I'm already over. Question. And it will make it worse. So. I'm like, it's easy for you. And that, that's where I'd be triggered. I'm like, it's easy for you. Is anybody on, Facebook, right. anybody on Facebook have a question? Somebody said, why is it so hard? find someone good. People keep telling us I've been out I've been out of the game too long and that it's a whole different that they made different now. I ain't gonna lie. I've been I've been I've been married since I was in my early 20s. So I, I honestly I have no earthly idea what y'all Let me tell y'all something right. though. These men but these <laughs> men It's really bad out here. If y'all not finding out they dirt, they got to be brilliant oh. because if Gerald was getting tripped up 
with house phones and beepers. Right. Oh, Imagine man. what could happen with, with TikToks and cell phones. Like, Listen, Snapchat. Real. You know what? I actually, I will answer that. I think for a long time there has been a, a huge emphasis in the church on women in marriage. Yes. So this is what you're supposed to do wow. as a woman to become a wife. Mm. What I think has been shifting a little bit but needs to be amplified is a conversation about men and what it might look like for them to be a, to husband. Be a husband. Yeah, I agree. Because yeah. what's, uh, what I think I hear a lot of young women saying, or not women out there, right? Women saying is that these men are not emotionally intelligent enough to be in relationship with me. So I'm having to deal with a dude that may want his mama in me, and I'm not his mama. And when we say mama, we ain't saying like looks and features. We saying somebody yeah. to coddle yeah. a baby right. or babysit. Mm -hmm. And that's not a partnership. Yeah. Mm. That's not but a marriage. I do that for you. Don't I do that? She, she do it for me. Baby you definitely do it when I'm sick. True that. Yeah. What, I was like that when we wasn't married. He was. He was a big baby. When we were dating, if I didn't feel good or needed to tell me to come over and help fix me, she fix would come. Me. But I also, but I just think, I, I just think that the, the, the shift needs to be inclusive of both men and women. The conversation shouldn't be you as Absolutely. a man or men, this is what you need to do Absolutely. only, or women, this is what you need to do only. It's a conversation about, yo, how can we, how can you learn to be your best self as an individual so that you can add value to this yep. relationship? And, I, and, but here's the crazy part, and I say this respectfully. One day it shifted for women in a good way. Yeah. Where y'all be start becoming your own brand, y'all start becoming yeah. your own this. Because if we go back to my grandmother's days, and if, even my mother's days, we had, um, they would stay home and cook, yeah. clean. Right. They would you couldn't question. For example, my grandmother, and if she, <coughs> if my grandmother had been like, um, and even my mother had been like the women of today, my grandfather probably wouldn't have other kids by other women. <laughs> if y'all, but then well, no, back, but, but you got to think about it. Back then, my my grandmother would stay home and take care of all the kids. My grandfather said, "I'll see you. I'll see you later," but he was a um, army dude. So being an army dude, the women back then was, shh, don't speak your mind. Yeah. Shh. But there was da, also, da, da. there was, that's also systematic too. Let yeah. me tell you why. That's true. Because it wasn't that's until true. like the early 70s where women were able to do something as simple as get a credit card in their name, buy an apartment true. in their name. Yeah. So they were, de they were depending on a man to be able to be in, to help them so that they can have basic necessities. Yeah. But I would, I would venture to say for a man, you don't want somebody who only wants you for what you can give to Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You need somebody who's going I, to add I want to share something so bad, but I'm scared they may be watching. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. But if I don't say who it is, you think it would work? Because nah, I want to find out what y'all think about this. Tell us. It's some dating people. One of my friends called and asked. I'm, well, let me ask y'all this. Women and, and fellas ask this. Do, do the, should the men in the relationship match your pay if you make a lot of money? So, for example, if you make $100,000, he got to make $200,000. Oh, no. That's no, not, I don't. Okay. If, if, wow. do he have to come to where you are? What do you mean? Like housewife? If, living. living. If you live, like, if for example, you live in Atlanta, distance. it's long distance. He got to come to Atlanta. You got to come here and I date think, me. I think it depends on who has the, better, say, the, better, the better setup. I think every situation is different. Right. It all depends. Okay. Like, if I, if What's I y'all thought? Better setup, yeah. Right. Because when it's something you want, you go get it, huh? Come on. What's your what's your thoughts on that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was asking, should um do she have to make if if she gave you the ultimatum of saying she you need to be making the same amount of money, no, double the money she makes. So if she makes a hundred thousand dollars, you need to make two hundred thousand. Right. That's that not cool, cool, right? Okay, and then if she lived out of town, y'all did long distance relationship. Let's say, let's say a fifty miles away, or let's say she lived in New York and you lived here. She said, "You got to come to New York and get me. You got to come here and date me." Right, okay. Got the best setup. Okay. Got you. So she came to you. Cause she had you had Dope. the better setup though. Oh, well, that, I mean, that's it, too. Got it. But I think, I think it's it. dangerous. I think, for instance, I knew when I was dating Gerald that Gerald was a creative, that music was a part of his life, that pretty much the longest he'd ever held a nine-to-five was maybe a month, right? 
Yeah, maybe. And so it would have been unfair for me to marry him and then say, you got to have restrictions. this, that, the other, because I, he would be miserable. Yes. And so I think one thing that we tend to do as women is that we think we can get this man and totally change dude and make him be exactly what we want him to be. Read what that is, babe. And so what happens is that's when he goes out and finds somebody else where he can just have some peace. Right. Right. She may not be all that cute, and she might be beautiful, but I'm saying you might see a guy be like, and he cheated on me for this, but peace, but yeah. baby. Right. Okay, right. Jared said, independence is amazing. Love it. But so, uh oh, it moved. Independence is amazing. Love it. But sometimes the attitude that comes with it is not appealing to men, excluding the trash can dudes. Do, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. You can be too hard sometimes. You can be, yeah, you can be too hard. Like, I think one of my I friends, my, one of my friends called and was talking to us about this. Okay. He's dating or, or just having conversations with a young lady. And he, he, gave, he said she gave him a list of things he needed to do. And when he got to give him this list, I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, okay, you need to send her a list. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what he list. I mean, it was, I even said to him, you need to say your credit got to be at a, he said, oh, we had a credit conversation. She said, I said, oh, my she's question, a handful. But my question is, where is the room for life to happen? That's right. right. In yeah. the, within these like, like, somewhere along the line, you guys that have never been married forgot that life happens. Yep. You could get married with every box checked, yep. and the next day, it all go away. happens. But, and you I also was just, don't, oh, go ahead, baby. No, I, was saying, I was just talking to one of my friends who was like, um, what, what if your That's wife would have said, what if your wife would have said, I need you to pay all the bills? I said, well, I pay all the bills, right? Mm -hmm. But if she would have gave me that ultimatum, it would have been a problem. It would have been a problem. Right. If you tell me that's what I got to do, it's an issue. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I, I ain't paying no it, bills. But you ain't going to put that on me and right. say, that's what you got to do in order for me to be with you. Uh-oh. Huh? Well, because now I start if seeing she had, all, If I, she had threw that out there? Right. Because I see all the other, I see all the other, because I see all the other problems, I start to see selfishness in this person. It's everything I, else I'm not I see. Lie to you. You I'm gonna see. You, you know what I mean? Couldn't get, he couldn't have gave me that same ultimatum either. Because uh, and, 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 let's, and let's be Jared real. Come. And let's be let's be like completely transparent. We talked about this already. When right. we when we came into a relationship, I had the upper hand right. as far as finances or yes, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. And actually, be, even beyond that, there was a period of time where I was working six jobs because wow. I, because I'm a worker. Patient. Yes, I am a worker. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but. We but get it. That's not to say, that's not it. And when I decided at the, at the top of 2020, I decided to let go of my uh, position in law enforcement. And uh, because we had been become debt free, right? And with exception of student loans, because uh, I'm never paying them back. I don't care what they say. But um, <laughs> so they ain't getting that student <laughs> they, loan money back. They are never getting that back. <laughs> Joe Byron's going to have to come in. But I think one of, the, one of my biggest concerns was. My value was in how I work, right? And as an entrepreneur, like you said, you're not getting it where you're getting yeah. it all the time. Yeah. So I remember we had an argument one time, and he said so, and he didn't even bring this up. But my yes, thought sir. was, oh, you think because you make all the money that you're going to be out here, da da da. Oh, he was, my, my, my. My man said, first of all, I ain't even bring that up. Ain't nobody so worried about it. Was, it was already insecurity you were dealing with. That's what I'm saying. So I, mm. think, I think to your point, to your point, if I would have, if he would have said, hey, Yammy, this entrepreneur stuff ain't working out. If you don't bring in X amount of money, it would have been a problem for me, too. That don't work for me. Cause, uh, but, uh, and also, I don't think that, because there's a new show on Netflix called Ultimatum, which is. Wow. Oh, I, is it good? I got to see that. It is. Okay. It's it, good. It, it is a train wreck. Really? Wow. Uh, it's a train. Oh, okay. my God. It's a train wreck, and I could not look away. Wow. But at the same time, I, but I don't believe, I just don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. I want, and I don't want no dude, I don't want to get nobody, no, I, I just don't, I, gotta I don't want to, I don't want to force you to love me the way I want to love you, right. I want you to love me. Right. Those things, I think eventually, like, I think you don't always know it, you don't know it eventually. And uh, the point that I was going to say is that what you think you know before you get married, you really don't know. You really don't know. Right. I agree. So mm -hmm. things are going to change. Things are going to be augmented or whatever. Yep. But at the end of the day, my like my love language is you love is you is you seeing something about me that I might need yeah. and doing it on my behalf. Yep. And and I think also it's a pride thing for me and Jessica. This is what I was gonna say. The problem was because men we have a level of pride. We or if somebody if somebody tell me, 
something like I'll, I might have been already gonna do it, but you go say now you gonna have to buy me a car. Like, wait a minute, no, I don't have to buy you right. no car. Exactly. Just Even though my said. plan was to buy you a car already, but because you telling me what I gotta do, that's a whole different story. It could be pride, it could be whatever you wanna call it, but don't do that to me. Yeah. And I wouldn't wanna do that to you. Like you gonna buy me, you gonna buy me so so and so. Like why would I do that to you? Like let me do it. Then also I would say. I thank God that Tammy didn't go have a list of things, even though I would have tried to meet him, you know, or look at it. But then I looked at her like, you tell me what you're doing, what you got. <laughs> you got to match Where you going? List. <laughs> but we were able to build things together. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we were able, as a team, we were like, you know what, let's build this together. Let's try this together. You know, and, and especially if you're a, a businesswoman who got degrees and got this, you're going to make me want to go uh, come up, That's step it. my game up. Right, That's exactly. It. Yep. I'm going to want to step my game up. I you don't have to tell me you got to have double what I have. Right. Your credit got to be better than mine. Your da -da -da -da. You got to be driving this kind of. You you naturally, you're naturally going to want to grow. I'm naturally going to want to grow. Right. But see, I think, and I think something that. You got a question. That people don't see. Because somebody said on here, a real boss woman wouldn't move. Right. I think what's happening is a lot of the people listening that are not married or are not in good, happy marriages don't understand that dynamic. Yeah. And so. Money and all of that stuff is, is wonderful, but none of it compares to a happy, whole, healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. None of it compares. So when you come across a person and it's like, this is the one, this is who I can build with, yeah. this, this is life. This right here is life, right? Yeah. The Bible said when Adam saw her, he said, that's bone of my bone, flesh that's of my, my flesh. flesh. Not that's my come up, not that's my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when you recognize that this is life right here, everything else is workable. Everything, else, my thought everything is, else is workable. If she got 100,000, I got 25,000. We got, we got 125,000. No. Right, exactly. We got 125,000. We winning. Part, the other part of it, too, is that, okay. Or vice versa. I, I, I just believe that there's freedom in Jesus. That's what we say. That's what we sing. That's what okay. we live. There's also that same freedom is applicable to our married lives. Yes. So anything that you coming at a, a relationship yes. with that brings forth bondage, yeah. is it, com it conflicts with what freedom we are supposed to have in our relationship. Mm. Yeah. So I don't want I don't want that for you, right. and I don't want that for nobody else. Right. If, so if you out here putting stigma uh, limitations and all that, don't get me wrong. Certain things certain things you have to come up to. Absolutely. Right? I, I'm not saying those. Yeah. I don't. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have standards. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. But I think that the list that you think you want in something is going to drastically. You might get it, like you said, yeah. and it'd be like, oh, this is not really be the what worst I want. thing ever. Look at the look at the people on uh, like uh, not even um uh, married at first sight. Mm. People like married at first sight, they made a whole list of things that they wanted. Yeah, and all these in this season specifically, all the relationship, most of the relationships are trash. Because really? with the things that they said, hey, I gotta have this. She has to be this. She has to be this. So that means that really and truly, you don't know what you really want That's until true. you get into it. Side, sidebar, sorry, um, we have to do commercial real quick. Um, commercial real quick. Um, our Charlene Gray made cake. Um, she has her own company. What's the name, What's the name Charlene? of your company, Charlene? Here it is. Charlene. Teaspoon Pastries. Come on, Teaspoon. On Instagram. Did you take a picture? Did on Instagram is T the and then spoon, T. the letter T, then Spoon Pastries. Or it's T, and she has one, it's T-E-A for T, then Spoon S P O O N pastry. Listen, Tim didn't ate his own. So he wouldn't even talk to us. He Tim, was it cake good? It was delicious. He not even talking to us. He was. Tim, eating. is it good? It's really good. It's I, I started back my and keto. You know, I'm not a sweet. I'm not a sweets person. Like I don't do cakes. Me either. This is good. good though. So y'all have to. And, and also, Charlene oh, yeah. is single. That is good. Ready to mingle. Come on, ready to mingle. So online, if you're looking for a good woman who cooks some cake, <laughs> who got a good job, come on. If that's on your list. Who's always on time. My God. She's a little introverted. She's pretty. And she's smart. Come on, Pastor. Okay. Put her out there. If you want to look up a lady, look up Charlene Gray. Come on. Now, I wanted to let you know this about her, too. She's a triplet. She has two brothers that are buff. <laughs> <laughs> One of her brothers, I walked into him, I hugged him. I thought I hugged a pole. <laughs> That's how strong he is. So you got to be careful. I remember that. 
good. But go to um teaspoon pastries at, so te at, at teaspoon pastries. That's what just the letter T spoon pastries. Oh, and then you also have one that says T T E A spoon pastries. Diane. Look up Charlene Gray. She's amazing. Can I get okay. Okay. So that was our announcement. A couple more questions. A couple more questions that we done. Isn't the purpose of marriage to build one another and help each other up? I agree. Yep. Totally. I agree. Artego, that's our own Artego. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, yep. it's to build one another up. Yep. And then the thing about me, and I think you said it best, I'm just reiterating, that what we find out in relationships is I can come, I can meet every box on your list. Yep. And some point during the relationship, I could end up letting you down some kind of way. Right, exactly. It could be the job situation that I'm making $250,000. I could end up, they could end up during COVID, closing the company down. If money and I lose success, the, I lose the money. If money and success was everything, Kim and Kanye would be on this panel teaching with us today. And then here's the other thing. And then let's take this. We don't know when you're dating. You can say, I want three kids. He can say, I'm giving you, okay, I'll give you three kids. But here's the fact. We can get into the marriage. He can have kids and maybe you can. Life yeah. happens. Because it's just, it your yeah. body may not let exactly. you produce kids. So my point is, you can't put hard stipulations like he got to have this hard. Or, I, hard it can't be right, hard, hard stipulations. Line. You got to be like, oh, I can, I'm flexible. I would like this now. Yes. Don't get me wrong. You can have your wish list. Don't take away your wish list. But I'm saying like, but don't be stern. Like, no, wiggle he got to have happens. wiggle room. Because the most happens. important thing to find in a relationship yep. to me is somebody you can trust. Yeah. I hate to tell you that. That's the most important thing I think you got to have in a relationship is somebody you can trust. And so, you know, having money, bringing money to a relationship, all that stuff is easy, right? Yeah. But it, yeah. building that foundation is hard. So when that money gone, yeah. that's why they break up. That's why they get so many divorces because that foundation was never there. Yeah. The only thing they were standing on was money. Come that's on. It. And it could be she wants the money because she likes to spend a lot of money. Uh, exactly. exactly. And that could be a problem. That could be problematic for me. Right. One, because oh. I, I like to save money. And then here she is spending everything we got. Right. And we, oh. we broke. So exactly. got a question. So, question. How do you come back from trust issues? So, if he lied or she lied to him, how do you come back from that? In marriage, how do you come back from no, trust it, dating, issues? Dating. We're not even... Changed behavior. Girl, I don't okay. do, well, I didn't even give nobody no chance in dating relationships. And that's what you I'm lied? Like, Good. Bye. No, but I'm saying if you, you decide, you, if this is something you want to walk through, change behavior. No, agreed. Right. Are what you talking about, like, getting to another back, relationship? How many, how many times or how many chances do you give someone? Uh, okay. Let, can I be honest? Yes. I think it would be unfair of me to tell you two times, three times, five times. Right, right. I think you have to do what's best for you. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Gerald and I both, gave, over nine years of dating, we both gave each other hell. And absolutely. then we both forgave each other and kept trying again. And so the thing is, is by the time we made it to the altar, the only somebody that had nothing negative to say was my mama. Everybody else was like, oh, this ain't going to last. Oh, you ain't, what you doing with her? Like, nobody was positive. So if we had listened to what everybody else said about us, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be married. And her mom was there for, through it all. Yeah, she saw it Just all. Just like my parents was there through it all, my sisters and brothers, everybody was there through it all. Her, I can honestly say her mom and dad never said anything negative about, at least to me, I never heard them say nothing negative. Also, um, if you're going to start, if you're going to gauge it off of other people, then you, you already messed up. you already messed up. Yeah, you already messed up. Already. Quite honestly, because we all have, we all have a different... Every, everything, everybody has a different level of grace for everything. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, um, so good. first good. I would say be <laughs> honest with yourself. If, if you see that this is um, just kind of how he, this is how he is, be honest with yourself. I don't want to leave yet. Yeah. I yeah. love him. I like him. I like spending time with him. I know he's a dog. I know he's doing this, but I don't want to go yet. Yeah, that's good. Then don't go. Yeah. Do what you feel like you want to do until you've done doing it. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm but saying? I, but I would say don't don't waste your time too long on something that ain't going nowhere. It, but we can't sit here and tell you, like, give them two months and that's it. Fact, right. Fact of the matter it, is it's, when you, it's all on you. When, it's, you, it's a, when you ready to go, when you yeah, tired, when you tired, tired of it. you just don't When you're tired of you getting sick and tired. Yep. Somebody yep. said, what is, what is marriage material? Somebody that's trustworthy. Yeah. Yep. Somebody yeah. you can depend on. If I can trust you and depend on you, everything else is workable. I, I would say somebody who yeah, put put your relationship or you above themselves. 
Yeah. Once you can find that in somebody else, like, yo, they actually, like, they'll drop everything for me. Yeah. You got marriage material. You hear me? Uh, like, I knew Tammy. Tammy would drop. Tammy told me this a long time ago, but I didn't believe it. What? She said, Gerald, I will, I will stop talking to my parents for you. Oh, that's real. If they, she said, if they did something and um, I, she's you? like, I offended you. She's like, I stopped talking to my, my parents. My mama, my best friend. But if I my, said, if really my mama me. go ham on Gerald, we got a problem, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You got a problem. So when I, when I learned that about her in dating, that she'll fight for me. I was like, oh, she'll fight for me. That's a big okay. thing for me, too, actually. Yeah, oh, you yeah. fight being for able me. To, being, able, being able to know that at the end of the day, you choose, like, you're, you're going to always choose me above and, and everything I, And else. I'm going to tell on myself, I didn't always fight for her. That was the same way. Yeah, yeah, me had to teach me that. Yeah, I, was I didn't always Because came from this huge family, pastors, and everybody was in everybody's business. Everybody was controlling everybody. It was a do, it was a dominant situation. They're just dominant people. Mm -hmm. They just yeah. aren't like Gerald's fat. Everybody is loud. Everybody banging on tables. It's just like it's craziness. And and so in order for me to navigate my marriage early on, I had to navigate it through the family. Mm. And I was like, oh. Hey, I'm not, doing, I'm not about to do this. People say, don't, this is you know, church. I was like, I'm not, I'm not about to do this. And it got, yeah. it got to the point where he, he had to, he had to choose. And I didn't have to. Tammy told me once. Go ahead, baby. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, and you told me once, you'll divorce me. Just to get away. Just from to your get family. away from my family. Ooh. Wow. And that was, that was heavy for me. I was like, whoa. Wow. That's so you, I said, they ain't even in our household. She yeah. said. Yeah, yes, they are. they are. But they are, <laughs> right? Yeah. They're in our household because I'm letting them, and I'm going, well, let, why, how come you can't just, duh, duh, duh. Well, when I so talked to Dietrich about it, you know, he said, yeah. well, first of all, oh, no. So, 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 we going, so our family showing up in the household, did, but this is what, when it finally clicked for me, and it's not just family, it's what, for anybody. Right. When I found out that people stir you up, they be at home watching TV, right. laughing. You at home, and y'all at home like, you know, it's you. You could have just, I'm like, go to hell. They at home. Or was smart enough to keep you out of their business. They war all in yours. War is in my house, and they at home just riding smooth. Yeah, they all in yours. I said, you don't know what's going on. Never again. Listen, and, and, and that's what I tell people. Never again. Don't, do not tell your relatives what's going on in your house. Absolutely. Because after you forgave them, they still mad. They still but mad. Let me say, but let me say this, and I, I always say this. When I recognize that I had the power to separate my husband and his family. When I recognized that I would be chosen at all costs, right? I did not play on that. Yeah. I would be yeah. the one saying, let's go to your mom's house. Let's go to you. Did you call your uh, sister back? Did you call your, because there will come a day True. True. that he will resent. I couldn't deal with my, my sister. I couldn't oh, talk to yeah, my mama. Yeah. I couldn't because y'all because you just couldn't you couldn't handle a dinner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's good. And so yeah. maturity, not, and not just not, natural maturity and spiritual maturity. Oh, spiritual. Right? Because here's one thing about, and, and me and his mom have talked about this before. When we couldn't agree on nothing else, we agreed that we, this whole, we all love Jesus. I love Jesus, mama love Jesus, brothers love Jesus, sister. We all love God, right? And we not acting real godly right now. Oh, that's right, good. Right, right. So you might not be my favorite person. I might not be your favorite person right now. But we acting real ignorant to say we believe it. Yeah. Let's find some common ground. Right? So Jesus. we were able to come together on that common ground until we all matured. Yeah. Yeah. Until we all matured. And now it's like, his, his mama, my mama. His, his siblings are, are my siblings. They will fight. His mama will fight for me. Say something halfway Absolutely. about me. Absolutely. She gonna, I, listen. I, I would more likely fight so, anybody for, uh, for Tim Michael Lodge. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, really don't, I don't play about my family. I yeah. really don't play about my family. When I say my family, I'm talking, my, this is my nuclear fa family. Yes. What we have here, in your house. Yeah. It's my household. family. So if yep. anybody tip don't toe across the line, I mean, ain't, ain't no question Absolutely. about it. So before, Timmy, you was about to say something? Go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, yeah, I mean, got us in plenty of fights. <laughs> I'd have been sleep at a sleep in the car, wake up, and somebody at the door, you about to fight. I'm like, what's going oh, on? Oh my god. I was like that. You know she The Lord is working on me. <laughs> I was so, like that. So before we um close it down, if we have yeah. one more we can take one more question. And I want y'all to do me a favor. Everybody online in the room and, and online on Facebook and in the room watching, what's y'all um cash app? What do I do? What is my cash app? Because can y'all do me a favor? Can y'all cash app? Yammy and Tim, um, for, their for their anniversary. 
I don't care if it's $9, $90, $900, $9,000, $9, we'll $9 million, right, 900000 right. like whatever you choose to sew into them for the anniversary. Free so they can go money. So they can go get something to eat. Um, we're going to send it to, what's, what's your? Yes, there we go. Yam it is dollar sign Yammy, which is Y-A-M-I-E Barnett, B-A-R-N-E-T-T. -T. Again, dollar sign Y A M I E B A R N E T T. That's Yami Barnett. Bless the people of Sec God. Second thing I need y'all to do, please cash app them. We're going to cash app them too. Aww. What's your cash app? Um, cash app. Say it again. What's y'all's cash app? Say, what's your cash app? Uh -uh. One thing at a time. We, 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 mm. <laughs> this is about them right now. <laughs> second thing is follow oh, snap. Really the doing Instagram this. for Breathe ATL. First, I would say Breathe ATL first. I was uh -huh. going to be good. No, we gotta quit breathing first. We gotta quit breathing first. We gotta breathe first. You gotta come get your breath, huh? <laughs> I, no, I don't know how to put your, it in the comments. Um, how, do you, how do you put it? Y A M I E B A R N E T T. Y A M I E B A R N E T T. Can somebody put it in there for us? Can somebody put it in there for us? Somebody said pin it. How do you pin it? That's Isaiah. We ain't write it down. I don't know. Let's do it like this. Next thing is. You spelled it wrong, Gerald. Y A M I E. You know, I don't know how to receive nothing, so I, like, I'm going to be like, thank you. Add the dollar sign thank first. You so much. Okay. You guys are so kind. Second, thi second thing is, you don't so have kind. to be married. Post. Post it. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to be married to follow hashtag um, um, us. us, which is the marriage ministry. Breathe what? with yes. underscore us. us. That's right. So it's breathe, it's breathe with underscore, underscore us. us. Can somebody tag that too? Breathe with underscore us. They're over the marriage ministry. That's them right there. Them too. Um, second thing is follow their podcast. Their podcast is absolutely amazing. Um, they do it together. And um, it's super cool. What's the, what's the podcast? Love and Theology. Uh -oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Tim, Tim, you ain't go, hey. <laughs> Oh. He, done, he, got, he got used to this crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. I gave her full autonomy over her body. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, the Love and Theology Podcast. It's so good. The Love and Theology, the Love and Theology Podcast. Podcast. It is so you good. all have to follow the Love and Theology Podcast. Podcast. We appreciate y'all, With man. Um, Tim worry. and Yami Barnett. And again, follow them and follow the um, Breathe. We're trying to build the Breathe um, marriage, marriage ministry. Because yeah. they got a lot going on. Last, just so y'all know what they did. For Easter, they had a um, raffle, and they gave out a gift uh -huh. full of stuff. Just put like this. I I'm hope they say what it is, because y'all might want to come to breathe, y'all married couples. Uh -huh. They gave away a box, a crate, put full like of this. sex toys. Yeah. You need batteries and stuff. We call it over <laughs> here. Wait, wait, wait. We call it here at Breathe Pregnant in a Crate. That's, That's right. what we call it. <laughs> No, I was one letter. I was one. Did you the see last that? one was zero. Mine was one. Everything was oh. it was seven five five something. And it was zero, but mine was one. I said oh. I don't want to get. I just won. but then, uh, sidebar. I thought I won that billion dollars on the lo on lottery. We'll talk about that off camera. Two years, years ago. So wait, we got Same we thing. got ten but minutes. Anyway, Let's do another question because last question. Come last on. question. Y'all got, got a question? Anybody, anybody in the room have a question? Okay. okay, come on, Jessica. You sure? But what if somebody want to hear with it? Because they might be the question they want to ask, but scared to ask. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. No, but you need it so that people online can hear. We want them to hear what the we question is. We want to hear what you're saying. We're almost done, y'all. Thank you for sticking with us, too. Thank y'all so much. On Instagram. It's on Instagram. So I just kind of want to know perspective. And we're leaving this up, too. Do you feel that when you guys are arguing, that you should still have sex. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. that's that's yeah. twofold though. Do you feel like you should? Yes. Do you have to want to? No. no. Not want to, but should Let's you? be honest. The only reason you asking that is because you don't be wanting to after when you yeah, argue. He didn't want to and he don't. Oh. Look at <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> Bless him! Sis said, I be ready. She said, still be the most this me. I think you said get over here, boy. It, Listen, it's 
<laughs> it literally depends. It depends on the person. Like, if y'all can come together after it's over and make it happen, make it happen. But if y'all can't, you got to respect the, you know, like. Breathe with us is Yeah, it's, it's a catch-22. Because we've been in the right space now. where we've been arguing, and you lay over there. You, I'm laying over here. That don't but last long with us. It don't last long with we, us. We friendly. It's like, get over here. Get over here. She touched my foot. Like, it depends on the argument, too, because sometimes if I'm hot. I touch his foot, he'd be like, you about to get. Uh, you about to get <laughs> got. <laughs> what you going to say, babe? I said, I'd be like, let's just go ahead and get this over with. We can right. have sex. We can argue when we're done. But we Hello? <laughs> We can argue while we do you are, you are a unique woman of God. I'm about to beat it up out you. Because women, <laughs> Thank you all. Right, women are Thank emotional, you. so we usually be like, oh, okay, one more of these questions. Because you had a good question. Yeah, too. okay. This one. Do, or you got no, yeah, you want to do that one? What is something your partner yeah. does that makes you jealous? Something my partner does that makes me jealous. Makes me jealous? I got it already. Go ahead, do you. His ability to just be unapologetically him. Mm. His ability mm. to show up in the world and not give a crap yeah. about what anybody oh, thinks. Like I, and what's, what I found, and I didn't realize this, I'm so glad I, you asked that question. I didn't realize this, and I probably haven't even told him, until, um, until a couple of weeks ago, probably, that Anger is not rooted in like jealousy and stuff like that. It's, it's rooted, rooted in, in envy. In envy. Yes, mm. yes. It's rooted in envy. Yes. And so he would do things that it would anger me. Like, why are you always doing that? Like, and I had to realize, like, you're just jealous that he that can he can do that. Do that. Yes. And you're not. Uh, yeah. So that's yes. that's my thing. I saw that. I don't have nothing that Tammy does. I can that, that I think of. That, that makes I'm jealous of. Well, let's not. Okay, let's exchange the word jealous. Yeah, you gotta change. You, it. Use it for like you wish that you, you wish could you do. Had it oh, it. oh, then if there's something I'll do, which I had, the ability to sit and just read books oh, wow. constantly. I don't have that ability. Like when I look at a book too long, it's it it is it, like that movie where the it started stuff doing like this. <laughs> Everything just started. Beautiful mind. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm serious. It's to, it's to the point that, and I'm not even being funny, mm -hmm. and, and I hope this don't turn nobody off, but it's just me. Like, when it comes, I get, I can sit there with the Bible, and after about 10 minutes, I'm like, all right. So I have, so what I have to do is, I have to, I, paste, I go to audio. Yeah, they made so audio I put it on audio, I put it on audio and listen to it. Tammy can sit with a book or with a computer and be like, Gerald, did you know? she go, <laughs> Did you know it's the manner that the systems of the third? Okay, let's talk. And I'm like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm like, you, man. And I, then she get the knowledge, and I promise you, and I'm I'm not saying this because she, I'm just saying, this is fact. Tammy, if she don't know something, within ten minutes or fifteen minutes, she know about it. She I, she sit up and like she got to know about it. And I'm like, man, I wish I had that. I know so that maybe that's the thing I'm jealous like, of. Every now and again, I pass Tammy, you'll drop some knowledge on the, on the, on uh, Instagram. I'm like, she had to do some research on this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm jealous of this too. <laughs> I'm jealous that she could sit on she when she makes a story on Instagram. It'd be so good. <laughs> she say something for five. I'm like, I don't even be doing that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even be thinking that. Like, I want to be the pastor. He'd be like, and when you're going to, God will. <laughs> Pull you out. Don't you worry about what you're doing. I'm like, dang. And I see Tammy start. I'm like, dang. Even her numbers. I have. It was funny. We was playing the numbers game with our Instagram going right. up. Ooh, I remember yeah. had. We weren't even trying to do it on purpose. Right, right. It was like, man, Dre, you got 10,000 people following you. I only got 6,000. I'm like, I don't know how. She's like, you be doing funny stuff on yours. Then she look up like, I got 25,000 people following me. Now what? And I, yeah, I'm like, man, I still only got 10,000. <laughs> like, so even now, I got a certain amount of people following me. She got like 10, 15,000 more people following her than me. And it, when I go look at her page, she only like, lady, you may not go to, but you're brilliant. And God can use you. I'm like, man, I, I got to start getting in the mirror and be like, man, you can make it. I don't no, but why you playing? Men don't have that. Like, men would love that. I, kind of Tim, I got to work on it. I'm jealous of that. That's I am so jealous. Timothy? I think for me, one thing that I wish I could do, how you have the ability to still operate even through fear. Mm. Mm. Like, you don't let fear, like, paralyze. You still, like, talking she's and rich. singing in front of people. She's, 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 right. she's and a boxer. Like, <laughs> what's she scared of? A rich boxer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no matter how.
how she feels, she can still operate and show up. Like that, that's one. That's thing so I'm dope. Fired. Did you just put the garbage back in my bag? <laughs> you have more food in there? It's a whole lot of food in she there. She said she's gonna take some home. Jesus, you had you put a dirty plate. But it's a thing. It all, it all fell in the plate. It all I'm fell in the plate. I'm sorry. Go ahead, tell. You had one and this is to go. wait. Oh my God. This is how I am at home. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> like I walk in the house and I see stuff on the table and I don't care what it is. I, cleaning I, and I throw it all away. I go in the kitchen, I throw the stuff out of the garbage. If it look like it's been there too long, she be like, Did you just you, you throw my son? We were frozen food we, out of the freezer. We were clean like, it out we had you sure? It, we had it. Okay, Tim, go ahead. Right, lucky no, I was gonna no. throw this. I was gonna throw this in there. <laughs> that, that was Sorry. I just love the way she can operate right. even through fear. Like she she still keep going. She don't let fear just paralyze her. Yeah. Uh, I think the thing that you have that I really adore is actually your ability to move on in mm. from from conflict or things some things some things for Tim that for me I would sit in for months and years wow wow roll off his chest it would be like yeah you did that now I know how I, I need to move from here on out but me and you don't have no beef after that yeah like that's mm. it and even with us in our relationship, his forget his ability to forgive is probably his 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 greatest or to move on. Like, okay, this was a moment in time. This is no longer the moment. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I ain't got it. I'm the same way. I want it. <laughs> I'm the same way. She want all the I'm beef. that now. I got that now. I don't know I got yet. That down now. I can't say yet. We so have to see. So guys, this was absolutely amazing. It was, cool. it was amazing. For, there was somebody on your Instagram that was asking about singles. So Breathe is getting ready to launch its singles ministry. One of the things that the singles and the young adults are going to be doing is they're going to be doing a podcast. And Ooh. they're going to be unfiltered. We're allowed, because listen, I can't tell y'all to be filtered. Y'all need to be able to, dis to discuss what they need to discuss. Yeah. So keep following us. I know you're on Gerald's page now, but go follow our We Are Breathe ATL page Thanks, um, on Instagram. And that way you'll be up to date. Because yes, you please don't follow. Have to be a member of Breathe to be part of our small groups, right? Yep. But um, if you want to be a member for, of with Breathe, you can be wherever Come you're on. at. And matter of fact, um, sidebar, the men are going bowling May 13th. We yes. don't care about y'all. Right. Men. You and, see, like, and our men, our men group is called the Good Fellas. Y'all want to rent a lane? Ladies, y'all want to rent a lane? The ladies, right next to them. That's something the ladies would do. <laughs> be like. Me Okay, we got oh, self-care really? on the 14th. So, so hashtag, um, what's the ladies? Breathe Her. Breathe Her is doing something on the 14th. Well, it's not about y'all yet. Hold on, let me talk about the 13th, the men. <laughs> oh, God. The good fellas. So if you want to come hang out with us and go bowling with us, we'll give you the information. It'll be on my page. It'll be on Breathe page. It'll be everywhere. We would love for you to come bowl with us on that Friday, May 13th. We'll tell you the time, which is 7 p.m., I believe. Uh, we have a flyer and all that stuff for it. So we'll make it happen fellas. and let y'all know about it. The good fellas, we're getting together. We're mounting up. We're gonna have a good time and just hang out. And, again, and then Saturday. Yeah, I'm sorry. Breathe her. Breathe her is gonna have a self care day. But again, really, real talk. We've had a great time here tonight laughing yeah. and joking and talking about marriage. But if you've watched us and been like, yo, that's their church, this is absolutely our marriage absolutely. ministry. We are the pastors here at Breathe ATL. We would love for you to be a virtual member at our church, Breathe Everywhere. Breathe right? Everywhere. So if you wanna be a member of Breathe, you just email us at hello at breatheatl.com. Give us your information, and somebody will be getting right back to you like that. And we'll get you connected. And if you're a person who say, you know, I don't go to church like that, you know, because I think they're gonna judge me. No, this is the place for you. <laughs> I want the unchurched to come yeah. here. Come on. Because your your template is clean. So we have services. Your palate on is just clean. Nights at 7 p.m. We have our midweek check-in. Sunday at 10 a.m. We have our Sunday morning service, and you can catch us on YouTube and Facebook Live at. Breathe ATL, right? Yep. And then those of you that are watching tonight, and you were blessed in any kind of way. Come on. This is our marriage ministry service. And so yes. listen, if you feel like, you know what, I just want to sow into that church. I want to sow into that ministry. What we always say is, I am, my life is a garden. I, I am, am living soil. soil. The seed that I sow is the, the seed, seed that, that will grow. grow. And if God lays it on your heart to sow into this ministry, God bless you. All digital platforms, PayPal, Cash App, GiveLify, and Square. All breathe ATL. We would absolutely appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that would be and, an amazing thing. And before the Barnett's pray us out, last thing, Sunday is Mother's Day, like she said. At 10 a.m., we'll be in the house. Can y'all do me a huge favor? You don't have to be a member of Breathe. If you have a picture of you and your mom 
together. Send it to hello at breatheatl.com and put in the comment, say, uh, Mother's Day picture. Yeah. Mother's Day picture or Mother's Day tribute. Put it in the comment. We're going to be airing it for our service on Sunday. It'll be pictures of mothers. So you don't have to go to our church. If you just have a picture of you and your mom, send it. If she's um, still with us, send it. If she's not, send it. We want to honor mothers this coming Mother's Day. And if you're a mother with your child, send it in. All right? That's it. So the Barnett's is on y'all to pray us out. Come on, head of household. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, God, thank for you, being Lord. such a good God. God. Yes, God. God, we just thank you, God, for just, you know, being present in this moment, God, to help, you know, teach people how to be married, Lord Jesus, God, and just walk into the calling that you have given on our life, Lord yes, Jesus, God. God, we ask God that everybody that's in attendance online, God, gain something from it, God. They can yes, feel Lord your Jesus. presence, Lord Jesus, God, and minister to them, God, and send them everything, God, that their heart desire in the yes, way, God. Lord Jesus, God. God, I ask God for traveling grace and mercy for everybody that's here, Lord Jesus, God, and just be with them. Meet them at the house, God. Yes, Meet them there, Jesus. Lord Jesus, God, and make sure that everything is all right mm -hmm. when they cross the threshold of the yes, door, Lord Jesus. God, we just give this all to you today, God. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. 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 We love y'all. All our breathers online, we love y'all. We thank y'all. Thank y'all. We appreciate y'all, and we had a blast. See y'all. See y'all later.